What is up, bitches? It is Friday night, and it is time, finally. Uh, we've been gone for so long. Another episode of Epileptic Gaming Hits the Airwaves is episode 185, and I have been AFK. Um, AFK Life. AFK Life. Well, you've been so AFK that when you came back to town, you didn't even call me, because you're a fucking dick. He was too lazy to, to say, you know, RTK. I, yeah, when did you get I back was. in town? What I got day? back in town on Monday. When's the first time I've talked to you since you came back? Today. Town? Literally moments ago. Today. Yeah, I know. And but Dan- you, Danny says I called two you weeks. like 12 times. Two weeks is no, too long for didn't. a show, dude. I, I did. You did I'm, not. Oh, really. maybe that was in my dreams because you always answered my calls and came over. And, well, we won't go there. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I, it's I was good gonna... to see you, brother. <laughs> Punch it, bitch. Yeah. I, you know, I've been busy. In fact, maybe See, the guys I are know, listening. I know. That's what I respect. I respected the fact that you're, like, completing the bar now. I've been learning mad carpentry skills, actually. Sweet. I, I got to thank I'm going to put them for that, in use. You should. I, I will. I've, I've learned to work you're the miter now. saw yeah, a I was going to say, I have a deck that needs done if, so, if you're willing. Yeah. I, I it, It's enjoyable. I like it. It's hard work, but and it, the thing is you can't be fast. You got you to gotta take your time get those perfect cuts all right or you we'll, we'll make sure finger, dude. we'll make <laughs> sure that we are employing your uh, awesome carpentry skills jesus christ uh at, in the garage which is the future studio it is of the future epilepsy studio. gaming and maybe alex and will shows. help us out because alex is really good. right on he's he's taught me a lot of shit excellent force has been also afk because he's been playing fucking video games i was gonna time. say they're sad that it's been two weeks but i love when we do a show after a two-week break because we get to talk about freaking games, dude. Yes. We've had played so many and played a lot of good ones, too. That's what makes me happy. So dude, this is going to be a fun show two tonight. Two really good ones. Yep. And, and and you know what? Not not some not so great ones, I think, I, as well. But we'll get into that. Are, are we up? having troubles with the with the stream? No, I don't think so. Why? I don't know. I, I thought maybe someone said it was dead. You, like, just uh, you you. It, it's got to be like 80 people or something. In chat <laughs> one dude. Yeah, one dude. Sorry, that one guy. It was just Robert Stewart. Sorry, one guy. On. Oh, okay. So, guys, we got news of the week. Uh, all the games we're going to be talking about tonight, and uh, some of them we may not even get to, but uh, do a quick wrap on the games of QuakeCon. Not talking necessarily about the event itself. I can touch on it briefly, but, uh, you know, the games. BlizzCon, of course, uh, nice guy Ed wants to make some comments about World of Warcraft, which I actually wasn't expecting, but it'll be interesting to see what what you've got to say. Yeah, dude. Uh, Wolfenstein <laughs> RPG, which recently came out on the iPhone, and um, gonna uh, talk a little bit it. about that. I, I I obviously you didn't play it. Played it. I don't have an iPhone. <laughs> oh, dude, missed Fucking out. Shame on you. Uh, the real Wolfenstein, if you will, the console version. Uh, the Xbox Live Summer of Arcade. So we've talked about uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. We did not. I talked about Turtles. You talked about Turtles, so we're going to complete it now with Trials HD, uh, Explosion Man, and then Shadow Complex, which I uh, I absolutely loved. So I can't wait to talk a little bit about that. Talk about that game. Uh, The Lost Planet Two demo came out, and also amongst the QuakeCon games, that also includes Wet and maybe a little bit Brink. Um, I, I still. Well, we can talk about it when we get there, but uh, that's a lot of shit to go over. It is. It is. Good thing we got only a little news. And then next week, um, we won't have a show again because I'll be at PAX, and although I'll be working the entire time at PAX, did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Dude. Come on. I, that's all right, dude. It's opening weekend for us. so Is it? I'll, I'll be busy. Okay. And just hearing about it, sad, because there was like at one point I was going to go, dude. I wanted to so bad. Yeah. I was looking we'll forward to, to doing Batman. 
What? Next week. I, I know Batman's probably going to have to be a follow-up one. And that At least sucks. you will have played it. I yeah. mean, Force will tell you. I, I, in fact, I'll just tell you right off the bat is that Force has pretty much all but said, you know, uh, fucking fantastic. Yeah, I, we'll just say everyone go out and buy it between now and it, our return show I, so you just, guys can see if yeah, we agree. Yeah, just out of curiosity, it's totally worth a buy then. I mean, you've told me that it's, like, amazing. So. I, I would be pr- I'm actually and upset hear, that I've already dropped $14 on renting it. I hear when I should have just freaking purchased it. I hear I should get the PS3 version. PS3 version offers the joke. If you're not an achievement uh, whore, uh, uh, the uh, PS3 version is a superior one because you get to play as the Joker in it. All right. Well, since we got so much shit to cover, why don't we? We could talk about Batman. If we actually get some time, guys, I feel real comfortable opening the phones tonight. Suma, you will be happy to know that I finally got my shit configured so that you can hear what I play. So that also includes the callers as well. I think we uh, tested it before the show. I think everything is uh, fine and dandy. Um, and so I like that. I can give you a you're the best around and you can actually hear it. And hopefully that will prevent people from actually fucking leaving their speakers on when they call in. Because we all hate that, don't we? All right. So uh, we got some big news to talk about. Let's do it. News of the week. All right, so, of course, it wouldn't be Epileptic Gaming if we didn't start off with the News of the Week item that involved the PS3. And you know what? I would just like to extend my cock out to the mouths of all those people that told me that I was dumb. In fact, I think Sumo was even one of those uh, claiming that the PS3 Slim was bullshit. Uh, when the original pictures came out, I, I stuck my ground. I said, this shit's legit. I just, I don't believe that it's fake. And uh, what has happened, um, the PS3. I, I, how do you get to take credit for that? I thought I was the one. What do you mean? It, I was definitely like, this shit's legit. Oh, like, I thought I remember us having arguments about that box art. Pull the archives. Yeah, no, the how box art was what? How big of a price drop is it so I don't get really 100 bucks? fucking pissed, dude? $100? 299 Yeah, but I got two games. Or I got a game and a movie. So it was All right, so well, bad, fair enough. Fair enough. Anyway, Wally, make it totally worth it. It, it You guys, <laughs> it like... did the, it, the, the, the silence I didn't have to hear from my girlfriend while she was watching Wally. That was worth it. It was <laughs> worth, really worth it. So, so hey, listen, the the thing kind of came and went like you know it just sort of was like holy shit there's ps3 slims and they're everywhere and then it's like yeah i just bought one and they're in stores and they're in stores right now yeah oh my god i'm yeah. i'm even behind the news i didn't know i thought it was september 1st that they no launched. dude I, I mean like i was seeing twitter blow up people like look at my fucking ps3 slim here's my receipt uh, do you look think it has boom. anything to do with microsoft i dude i all i know is that we didn't hear it at E3. We all we all knew or we thought, thought we would hear it at the Tokyo. We thought we show. would hear it at the Tokyo Game Show. Yeah. We thought that it, they would somehow get it, you know, ramp up for for maybe Final Fantasy. That's what I was wondering or, if maybe they like had some sort of launch in mind and suddenly said, "We need to jump the gun, guys, or they're going to go with Xbox instead of us." They jumped the gun. Look at this sexiness right here. Bam! What is this deal about the symbol? Like they move Why the symbol. Or sexy? Didn't like yeah, the symbol's different. Sexy. I don't know. Well, you know what? This is actually not my favorite picture of it. Yeah, it, nothing, it nothing look at this one. This one's good. Okay, just look at it compared to the original PS3. You can right. see that it's much smaller. Now, I don't know. I mean, does it look like crap? I personally thought the PS2 Slim looked like crap. It just looked like a flimsy I still kind do of. Think it does. But you know what? It's smaller, which is big. What I want to know is. How loud is it? Because I still really feel like I mean, bo- all my consoles are freaking loud, dude. The the 360 and the PS3 just totally like. I think your PS3 does that because it's like choking on the dust as the fans start spinning. Yeah, dude, my my 360 doesn't make that sound. It, my my new Leet doesn't. <laughs> Neither does my PS3. Dude, you've never heard your fucking fan kick on your PS3 and just have it go like. <sighs> you know what? Honestly, because no, I do dude, get annoyed I by haven't. that shit. I really have never experienced it. I have. Maybe it's because I have 
Maybe your shit needs some breathing room or something. Maybe it has to do with the fact that you have fucking a litter of cats running around here getting <laughs> dander on fucking Honestly, though, dander. whatever, dude. You I, I can't say that dog? because I do. I freaking only play with my PS3 for two, two hours at a session, then the movie's over and I turn it off. So, <laughs> oh, so I wouldn't know if it's ever gotten shit, to that heated up point. Shit, man. That was a low fucking blow. <laughs> well, actually, it's funny you mention that because now that this price drop has happened, there are some... You know, the ultimate Blu-ray bundle packages that make it not look like a game console at all. They're totally selling it as a Blu-ray player they with all that. these movies. Yeah, they, they did, did but begin it's, with kind yeah, of I too. I know. It's really, uh, it's, it's really interesting. So. Sad. That's the PSU. So Sony is, uh, is, is, they've got it out there, man. Produced, fucking out there, two ninety nine, no backwards compatibility. And you know what, dude? To, to all the little wieners that are like, oh my god, I, I mean backwards compatible. Man, fuck off. No, you don't. Yeah, what games I are do. you playing? No, why? What, what no, are you, you playing? No, you fucking don't, dude. It's not necessarily. No, that what I are play. you playing that you fucking. Well, can't I would have never from- played God of War 2 if it wouldn't have offered it to begin with. Can't you get it from the fucking Sony store? I fucking what? PS2 slim no, you that can't buy shit. It. You can't buy it. But the thing is, is that. I, you know, I, you know me, I collect all my games, and still, if I ever get that urge or I want my Whatever, kid to play... Whatever, dude, then you'd go out and buy a $20 PS2 Slim used at some fucking store, and I would, then you'd I would just that. always rather have because the option than not have it. that would make you more elite than using the backwards compatibility of the PS3 anyway, would I, I would rather have the option than not. Would you not? Yeah, that's what I thought. I got a bitch. PS2 in my bed. That's what I thought. See? <laughs> so you want to break it out and hook it up? Hell it no. is hooked up. Okay, already. okay, how about this? Hundred dollars less. Oh, okay. Maybe 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 that's worth it. Maybe that is worth it. If anyway. I was just purchasing, yeah, maybe. But I still like I still feel mine's superior. So the interesting side of this is that now Microsoft is uh and it's confirmed. It's out there as well. Best Buy ads have been scanned and shit. And that They're shit just happened all of a sudden too. To two ninety nine and uh and I just Bought dude, an elite, dude. dude you know this what? summer, and now it's freaking three hundred dollars. I hate, I hate so to tell pissed. you, they were sitting on that shit, dude. So they pissed. were sitting on it. They were waiting for this to happen, and they were like, "Flip the fucking switch, boom, right there, done I'm, deal." I'm, I'm, I'm upset. Done deal. Um, At least now I know when mine breaks from overuse, which I know it will. Because so, I fucking love it. It's only two ninety nine to get a new one, so. It, that is nice for either system now. That's that's really that's a nice you know I can sleep a little it's bit so, better at night like, now. We're like oh yeah it's three hundred dollars. It's just disposable income. We have it's grown not up disposable in our lives, but dude. still ten right. years ago we would be like fuck that dude it, you know three hundred I mean, bucks and I'm like three hundred dollars I could justify buying a system. I think I, I paid I think I paid three hundred for the PS2 already. at the time. Wasn't the, it close to that? It the matter of fact is that as a hardcore gamer, it's pretty much no different than like oh shit, a tire blew out on my car. car I'm gonna go fix now it. Now I yeah. gotta go get a new tire and get that shit aligned and blah blah blah. Oh, I might as well get an oil change on there. Boom. I like I like I had to go to freaking Ace Rent to Own just to kill the time between mailing in my coffin and getting the freaking box back. I couldn't even make it two weeks. There dude. you go. All right, we have some uh, movie news uh, for us, right? Dude, and actually, I like this movie news because you know what is it? We've been really sad that freaking Halo because after District Nine, oh my god, which is like one of the best movies awesome. this year, I and one of the best movies good. of all time. I thought it was very good, but uh, here it comes. I thought it was awesome. I thought in glorious. Here it goes. But you still, know what? you know what? I don't think I don't think bastards in District Nine are even in the same league. And they're I not in am, the same league. I, no one was a bigger Tarantino nerd why, than me, dude. dude. Why? I'm not. But I don't District like Tarantino. Nine is so superior. Really? I like. I think. I, lo- I think see. I love him, but sucks. It wasn't even close to District Nine for me. But anyways, getting on with the story is uh, that Neil Blomkamp. I hated Pulp Fiction, dude. It bored me. You don't even want You're to know how many times I saw that in the movie theater. That's <laughs> ridiculous. I think I probably saw it like 11, 12 times in the movie theater. That was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. What, I mean, what sure. makes District 9 the, the one of the greatest movies ever? Hmm. Dude, the Where do we begin? concept and the execution, dude. The freaking special yes. effects in that yes. the actual, are unbelievable. Like, yeah, and the like, whole story, the way that uh, dude's freaking story. character arc how about, is unbelievable. How about the last time that they took a completely fabricated actor and made you connect with him? I know I will give you that, but that doesn't make it no, the when best was the movie la- ever. When was the last time that happened? Fuck, Finding Nemo, dude. Fuck. Now listen, Man, come I, on. And I'll, I'll give you, you know, like action. Ed. Ed, listen Live now. Action. The, the freaking nasty German, the Jew hunter in uh, Bastards. Now he was freaking awesome. Yeah. Do you think he was better than 
that freaking then the I, fucking I, alien dude? Matawami or whatever his name was, the main character. That, and how he goes alien? from that geeky nerd office guy to a freaking hardcore Badass. I need to survive half alien freaking douchebag rock star he dude. was a douchebag zapping dude. people with laser guns at, the, end, dude. at he, the fucking end he was a complete douchebag until he's like oh fuck dude if i don't let this alien get away i'm gonna be stuck being an alien making fucking well, garbage no flowers way he starts fighting for, for my his fucking life. wife dude. you did not expect that when you saw that dude first appear on the screen for him to be what? that kind of guy who will do whatever it can to freaking survive all right well, anyways well, whatever, let's so blom camp was originally supposed to make halo instead of freaking district nine and then he got kicked off it and they shut it down but I thought the big news was is now Steven Spielberg sounds like he's interested in it. He read Of a, course he is. <laughs> that's awesome because not only is he <laughs> It's your guys' with, fault for not seeing the movie yet. He's Sorry. friends Dude. with Peter, friends with yeah. Neil Blomkamp. It's about I as mean, it's about as awesome as when he was like, I'm gonna make a game on the Wii. Who? It, uh, Spielberg. Hey, can I say something? Hold on. Yeah, what? Go ahead. Is D9 not one out of everywhere? The best games for the Wii. Great. And then he's like ah, I'm going to make a game for Natal. And now he's like, I I'm going to make the on. Halo movie. Hold on. He said Same. he was going to make a game for the Wii, and he made one of the best games available on the Wii. What Boom game? Blocks? I don't understand why we're like what yeah, insulting him. You know what? You're, Spielberg you're totally, lives up to what totally he right. says he's going to do. I'm being way too salty, dude. He, you are always e either way, Boom Blocks. Either way, having that freaking guy. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm I sorry. missed. There was an insult in there somewhere. Wasn't <laughs> it's there. okay. Either way, I, I I don't take that as an insult, dude. Okay, I consider myself video game cultured. <laughs> All right. Can you brag sorry, about that? Sorry, band. I didn't realize that. I thought um, it's been out across the board. But I just like the fact that having his name involved, if and when it does see the screen, like I want some freaking epic shit. None of this, you know, Paul Anderson bullshit. Right. Um. The other news story that I found really interesting, um, from the past week was that Harvey Elliott. Who is, uh, what is this, EA Bright Light Studios? Like, I've heard of all the EAs. I've never heard of Bright Light. I've not heard of Bright Light either. That was the first time. But now I want to hear more about them. Apparently, they're taking a, a love in Bullfrog IPs, and Bullfrog was, like, one of the superior PC hey game day, companies PC at hey the day, time, dude. dude. Oh, man. Syndicate, which I see you have listed here. Dude. Is, I mean, It I, was one of my favorite. It was one of the reasons why I played the 3DO, dude. Was to see because what the Syndicate version was going to be like. Yeah, I mean, Syndicate and Syndicate 2 both were fucking awesome, but you had some other ones there. Well, too. and other ones, like Populous was huge at the time. Like, I think freaking Civilization, those have overtaken right. it. Right. I would love to see what they do with it nowadays. That new the theme, Civ the, was a The theme park hit. and theme hospital, all their theme series, like, that wasn't as great for me, but it was still freaking huge, and... Um, Magic Carpet was actually that was a lot of fun at the time because the the three D worlds that they did at that time. That's one that would fit right now with to like see they how could, would they redo that nowadays? Yeah, no one's really made like a as long as they don't get freaking Alibaba, um, Factor Genie, Five it to do it, do it layer movie? style. Are you talking about Prince of Persia? Did you see they're making a Prince of Persia movie? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you seen all the pictures of of uh, gay, what, dude. what is the dude who's gay, playing dude. him? No, Maggie dude. Gyllenhaal's That's dude, fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. Jake, um, Jake yeah, Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal, all the freaking uh, shots of him without a shirt on, dude. Yeah, dude, I'd fucking went. He actually looks one buff out, as dude. hell, dude. Like magic fucking yeah. So I like that. Hope I like that thought that maybe yeah. Syndicate might get a revisit, dude. I freaking love. Oh that fuck game. yeah! And it was I also noted that. that EA renewed trademarks on uh, Populous, which we mentioned, the theme park, and the two that excite me kind of too is Road Rash and freaking. Um, Wing, wing commander, commander dude fuck yeah i dude. love to see what they do with some now, wing commander remember nowadays. they made they made the um uh the xbox piece live of shit wing xbox commander, live. Right. oh my god it was a piece you know what fuck that and we mentioned it a couple shows ago where it's like i think it was when we were talking about x-wing versus tie fighter and saying like we haven't really had a game like that you know it was arcadey but it also had a flight sim element to it like you got to think that if these guys really put something fucking awesome together, then have the old school Wing Commander flight shit and then also bring it out. You know, have some platforming levels. Maybe you're going oh, yeah. to like a fucking, pl totally. you know, space station I'd and love fighting to see Gears of War, and Gears shit. of War and then get into a plane and freaking take off from your Fuck ship. Fuck yeah, dude. Space, dude. And totally. you got to think that like the Kilrathi are already an awesome enemy. In the grand scheme of like those types of games like that. I, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe there weren't that many people that played Wing Commander, but like I would have to say that Dude, the Karathi the day, were like it was some of awesome. the greatest it was like villains ever. Identifiable, like you knew who they were and could talk about them right. throughout the whole series. They were Absolutely. good bad guys. 
Kind of like it. the freaking, you know, the nod to the Command and Conquer. Like, we all know who those bad guys are. We identified yeah. with them over several games. Um, and the last one, and I just want to say. Yes, they're cats. This is like one of those serves you right stories. Uh, you know, I feel bad to see any studio close. Oh, dude. But if anyone deserved it, dude, it was freaking Grin. <laughs> Apparently, they close, And this blows me away because we were like, oh, my God, this company's put out three games in like as many months. They did Bionic Commando Rearmed, which was a freaking steaming pile of shit. Rearmed? Oh yeah, re-armed. no, not rearmed. Not no, re-armed, the, rearmed is good, what, dude. What is, there, what is it? Bionic Commando. Just Bionic Commando. That's just what it was just called. Straight up. Let's just, let's just like no, come on. The the franchise stands on its own. Force, come on. Freaking wanted, Bionic. which I told you was like a total one trick pony. It was right. terrible. But you Terminator it, Salvation, oh, dude. dude I, like- I played through it, and it was over in like two hours. No, actually, it probably took me three hours to beat it. Mm. Same thing with Terminator. Which you fought only three freaking bad guys the whole time, but I beat it in like three hours. You know what's you know what sucks is that although Wanted came out after the movie, you know Terminator Salvation was definitely like deadlined, very oh, yeah. hardcore, right? I mean, you know those guys aren't terrible. I just wonder if they were like push, 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 push. Well, and do you remember what Capcom said about um, hiring that studio? They're like, we've learned our lesson hiring out to third-party developers after Bionic Commando. Like, they freaking, they, they, well, they good for them. kicked its ass, and now they're I, gone. If we, so. if we come away from it with, with something good, then we, we come away with something good. Sorry, I am going to miss, I am going to miss the freaking easy achievement points, dude. You only had to play it for three hours and got <laughs> hundreds, dude. All right, so uh, Hans Zimmer <laughs> is uh, doing the soundtrack to Modern Warfare 2, which was uh, pretty surprising to me. True Romance still stands is uh, one of my favorite soundtracks of I all time. I still play that to these days. You had a couple tracks off that. I loved it. And actually, uh, I earlier I was asking you guys if you knew a song that I was playing, and uh, that was... Uh, it was actually this one. Do you do you know what part this is? Oh yeah, dude. Someone's about to get their testicles blown off, dude. Yes, yes. It is fucking not white boy day in the club when Gary Oldman gets his fucking dick no. blown off. I'll never forget that fucking '90s. So you remember how badass we felt having the unrated version God, where you actually saw the testicles explode. Yes. The '90s sucked. Dude. What? In the 90s. Dude, what are you talking Stop. about? That was like the foundation for everything yeah, great that's, right there. That's great. I st- like Force. I'm, I still yeah, listen to that shit. Own. High energy. Um, so uh, anyway, uh, it's you know I, I like that. I like the fact that Hans Zimmer, an Academy Award winning name, dude, a like, big name composer, is is putting together the soundtrack or has, I guess, at this point, put it together. But you know. It really does show just how fucking big gaming is getting. I it just it, I love it. Now, also, the Bioshock movie is being tossed around like a fucking frisbee right now because it is now reported that Verbinski is moving to the producer role, and they have Juan Carlos Fresendalio Dilio Fresendilio, I believe. What's the Dilio? Fresen Yo Dilio will replace him as director. Now, who is he? You know, it really doesn't matter because his name isn't Paul W. S. Anderson, but. He was the guy that did 28 Weeks Later. And I liked it, dude. I think 28 Weeks Later had a freaking sweet look to it, dude. And I, that, the chaos that happens at the end when they explode in the tunnels, I freaking I, love. I dude. Spoiler, dude. People haven't seen it. I won't, I chaos won't disagree. Chaos is going to explode in the tunnels. Sorry. <laughs> I won't disagree, but I feel like now the hype has sort of like... You know, start to come down a little bit. It's been like, you know, anytime you see like, oh, this guy has it. Now this guy has it. Now this guy has it. It's like, okay, well, then someone's not taking it seriously. But the thing is, is that I like the fact that Verbinski is still producer. And it's in the hands of a director who probably needs to do something. As opposed to Verbinski who's got well, like 18 meals all on right, his plate. All right, fair enough. But, it. you know, I mean, can he do good? Now, I do believe this guy has a really good grasp on creating... Uh, uh, like a a daunting environment because well, yeah, that's definitely that what 28 weeks later look was. To it, yeah, uh, very claustrophobic, which I kind of feel like uh, you know Bioshock needs to be a little bit. So I don't know, maybe Bioshock Two will revive that a little bit. But uh, regardless, there is a new guy at the helm, and uh, you know maybe he'll fuck it up. Maybe he'll fucking do something great. But don't uh, hold your breath. <laughs> this next story freaking cracks me up. Like, I can't believe companies that, like, brag about this shit. Dude, this is lame. Bayonetta, which I was... Re- I'm, I still am really looking forward to it. But Bayonetta is now yeah. bragging that the game will contain a very easy mode 
where you can play the entire game hitting only the yellow button. And let me hold on. I actually yeah. have this listed. You will be able to positioner attack with their dodge jump all while pushing one in the video this girl they, they released the video of the play no it's not even that dude it's not even that you're putting too much effort into it she's yeah. sitting she's sitting on her lap this japanese girl is showing the video sitting on her lap going like this it's for not it's, even like it, really paying why, attention to the screen this is why they're doing it it's for this <laughs> <laughs> ed do you know what you actually are probably right because this is what blows me away about the totally, story. Totally, dude. Me laugh. Why they're doing it that way? Would you agree that this is sort of a kids' mode, so kids can play through the game and enjoy it too? Sure. Or the dirty whack mode. But this is a game about a chick who freaking uses her hair in strips and is constantly naked, killing everyone. That's like, does why, this need dude. a kids' mode? The people who are intending to play this, I would think, can use more than one button. Like, if it was, like, a teen I'm game glad. or a game that you want your kid to try to and feel successful. I don't want him feeling successful at this porn game. He'll pick it up, freaking put it on very easy mode. Next thing I know, he's blown through hours of it. It and, just it and, cracks and me you up know that what? this you know what? in this game. Suddenly, the replay value of the game fucking shoots through the roof. Shoots Actually, through the there roof. There is no replay value. You rent it. Jerk off for about? a couple hours with one button. Done with it. Maybe, dude. maybe like your I, like I your to, what, PS2 collection. What I need, need to investigate is for. how many achievements can I get in very easy mode versus having to like, actually touch the controller. You, you know what? You know what? Hold on, hold on. I hope for your fucking achievement whore's sake that they make an achievement where it's like you have to beat it in that mode. I just would fucking <laughs> love <laughs> that. Hennel or Hennel, whatever, dude. No one in this panel said sex is bad. We're just making fun of the game. No, but I'm saying he, sex he, is he, bad he, for like an 11 year old kid to be for 11 year old kid. Yes. Why? I don't know. They're growing up different Stop. these days. They are growing Stop. up. Different. <laughs> Stop. Seriously. Why? All right. They should be exposed to sex. Not pornographic speaking of sex. sex. Right. This next news item has absolutely nothing to do with it. Call of Duty World at War <laughs> Zombie Pack 3 has surpassed one million downloads. It's over 9000. In three fucking days. I can't believe they're like, this is our last one. Like, I, I, They got to be baking it. Baking Dude, it they on are, this game. You want to know? And it was still like number four on the selling chart on the top ten last month. And That is ridiculous. And I want to say, like, remember when all those people were like, oh my fucking god. Call of Duty is going to suck fucking the so much ass. Number World War five II, is yeah. like, oh my god, I'm totally going to play Call of Duty 4 and blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? I really hope that in some flurry of miraculous moments, all these people simultaneously shut the fuck up in a very lawnmower and man-esque telephone ringing way. Not that, not that Call of Duty 4 wasn't good. Modern Combat was great. Awesome. This is giving me more money than any game I've ever purchased. Yeah, I mean, I, I put more money into it. How long? But think about how many hours. I mean, of course, we've put an additional $30 into it for three different packs. Hundreds of hours. I still play regular hundreds multiplayer mode. I'm still. I can't beat hundreds freaking veteran. Hours. That that's six point five million. That's ridiculous. All the that's a packs. ridiculous amount. Six, dude. Some fucking games don't even sell ever a you ever. know a tenth of that. That is, and that's think about that's another what sixty some million dollars. That's like selling yeah. a million copies of a game yeah. at retail. Yeah, that's a lot of fucking money. Why would so. you say you're done, guys? Make another one. I'll buy it. Yeah, dude. congrats on that one, guys. And I'll expect my Nazi zombie game very, very soon. They got it. They got to be. It's it's being talked about somewhere, dude. I just dude, know it. you know, just I, I know mean, it's not zombies. Are you excited at all for ODST? No. Yes. For firefight mode. Why not, dude? It's going to be fun. I mean, it won't be zombies, but four-player co-op against hordes of freaking bad guys. Whatever. Whatever. Right. Dude. Just, I wasn't sure maybe you, you know you what? And I, have to be, I wasn't listen. sure if you liked the mode we'll or if it had to it. be zombies. I, You know, the thing is, is like having tried Killing Floor, having tried Left 4 Dead, like no matter what, having tried even horde mode on fucking on, on Gears, Gears of, of War, War, having tried all that, you know, at the end of the day, I still go to sleep and go, I love you, Nazi I zombies. I love you, zombies, yeah. You know, like, and that's just, that's just how it is. And I'll be, uh, I'll be like a little fucking baby about it and shit. But, you know, I'll try them all. I'll definitely try it. If it's awesome, I'll pick it up. Probably won't Is be. Left 4 Dead 2 on your purchase list? Uh, no. No. Not really. No. Not, Not on really. mine either. Oh, my 
God, it's, it's so a on rental mind. for me. Now, if oh, they so really, if they do zombies in Modern Warfare Two, oh my God, they're dude. not. Why? Are you sure? I'm absolutely one thousand and fifty million trillion right. percent true. But have you read about their co-op? Mode yes, sports? I have. I Those heard that it's gonna too, like dude. if we love Nazi zombies, we're gonna love that shit. So anyway, let's keep on going. What are we at now? Okay, we're we're only thirty minutes in. This is good. So earlier this week, there was an article about FASA. You, you guys, these are the guys that made Mech Warrior, made Shadowrun, and fuck even before making the games themselves this is the same company that really was developing like the pencil and paper uh, versions of these uh, of, of these uh, tabletop RPGs so um, anyway the article centered around the idea that FASA had a great development culture and then that, that was one of the reasons why Microsoft ultimately wanted to acquire these guys now once the team actually joined Microsoft the development culture as these guys state was essentially destroyed and it's honestly not surprising because it is usually the big fish that eats the little fish now they also obviously gained a lot of IPs through the purchase and through the you know absorption of this company but I think more so now that the company's closed you know grins closed we're seeing all of these bigger you know uh, corporations kind of sucking these third-party developers up and you know, it's not it's not that bad to have to jettison them off because they need to fucking cut some some. See, loose. that's kind of what I feel. And what Wait. happened to them was they had all that pressure on Shadowrun of being like the game that lets PC and Xbox connect. It's going to be the reason why everyone gets game for Windows. Right. And they didn't deliver that product. You know, freaking Molyneux Studio delivers that product. Freaking Bungie delivers that product. And they didn't. I mean, Microsoft, I think, puts a lot of pressure on their studios to deliver something superior and they didn't deliver it and it, it freaking sucks because in all yeah, fairness, they could probably go on to something else games for windows sucks games so for windows did suck but my, that's that it's going against i mean them. it's not their fault yeah but still that's what microsoft does is they say you better deliver us this fucking so world changing product or fair you're gone. enough fair enough but it's happened with capcom activision ea you know like all of these big names these sustainable companies that have a very large presence in the in the video game industry and world like do you think that these companies are just uh, eventually dissolved and then they just go to other I think if you're not currently working or, on I, a part three or part four of something, you're going to freaking die and end up in some freaking factory producing some sequel. Maybe. I mean, that's just that's what I, I see so much. I think it's so just much. a sign of the economic times right now here. I think so small you, you developers, don't think, I don't think this is going to be a lasting trend. Because, but it I hasn't, think when we see it's the, never really the happened, though. I mean, well, sweet. dude, whole uh, auto industries are going out of business. Yeah, well, I think yeah. we're going to lose some yeah, freaking game companies. Yeah, but hold we're on. Game companies, well, dude. okay, fair and enough. And when we see an uh, upswing, I think you'll see more of these smaller development teams. Well, fair, I mean, in all. But right now, to survive. Good news is, if you're, you're right. If you want to be you're a right. video game creator, Absolutely. you're going to have to go work for one of these established companies and hope your game's successful so you don't get the cut. Well, and that's kind of like, think it's about... It's a gamble, dude. Do you know Shadow Complex? Do you know who's the head of Chair? Howard no. Phillips, who used to be like the face of Nintendo, Nintendo. and shit. Yeah, really. I mean, that's what's happening. They're leaving these big companies coming back from the ground up, you know, and I, I hope we see more of that. <sighs> oh, I got that blast got of the nice watermelon. whiff of whatever that is the goodness up there um so you know i was gonna i mean you make a great point ed and uh, hopefully we'll see an upswing now on you know as a positive note the the ability to make money off of an xbox live arcade or off of a psn game right now is is also i think pushing some of those smaller guys that can't afford to you know you look at behemoth the guys that do castle crashers and stuff they have sustained themselves as a company doing those types of games so right. um you know that that's it's it's nice to see so uh where where are we at okay Ep one more okay so what? i got a question yes. epic games epic epic that they did Shadow Complex, no. right? No. Epic bought the company, but a company called Chair, who made a game Chair, called I Undertow saw, yeah, yeah, okay. for right. Xbox Live Arcade. Okay. They like made That's this amazing Undertow Xbox the one Live Arcade gave with away the for Unreal free Engine. Because there was outages. Yeah, that's how I got mine, dude. Yeah. I got that game for they free. gave it away for free. But it was free. decent. But it was a big deal that they'd made the Unreal Engine 3 fit onto an Xbox Live Arcade. It was like 50 megs at the time. That was the limit. And we'll talk about and they, that. And they ended up snagging them. And, uh, really loved it. Let them make a new game. So who would have ever thought that 7-Eleven would ever be a place to get the scoop for a video game? Well, recently it was revealed that Capcom acquired a trademark to Okamiden. 
All right. And naturally, people assume that I did. It's somehow I saw related it. to PS2 oh, Okami. So you're yeah, about to I destroy this. Right? That Maybe there's sense. an Okami 2. So, according to 7 Eleven, the next what issue of the Japanese video game mag, Famitsu, will be covering Okami Den. Now, if you don't believe their credibility, they were also the folks who knew that Hideo Kojima's cloud teaser site was connected to Metal Gear Solid before Famitsu even hit the stand. So. Fucking 7-Eleven owning Yakuza how, how, or getting the inside information. How exactly did 7-Eleven break the news? Because it went down. It was on their website. 7-Eleven. Oh, it was? Yeah. Like bragging about they're doing a promotion for it? it actually, what it was is that they were showing that they were going to be selling this copy of Famitsu and that a part of the, 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 the cover story was going to be Okamaden. Okamaden. But what, they don't know what it is, though. No, but so we don't know for sure. We it's still not don't Okami? know. We still don't know. All right, I thought you were going to shoot down my dreams that maybe, Dude, maybe Okami, there's a teeny Okami tiny chip. Dude, be awesome. it would make sense Okami because it would not make sense. What? Because those fuckers can Clover. Well, that studio. That's true. And then true. all of a sudden they decide to make a sequel, but I still want a sequel. I do too. That, I that, love that. There's I some truth that to that. Game, man. There's I some truth. It. All right, last uh, last news item. Fucking awesome one at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I say that out loud? And it, it, it's kind of you don't really see like a magazine article in the video game industry like totally like freaking getting huge responses from companies and shit. But right. uh, Game Informer this month they like polled five thousand of their subscribers and asked them about um, the Microsoft if they've experienced a failure, a red ring of death on it. Right. And fifty four percent of them had had to freaking send in their machine to be repaired. Fifty four. What was it? What was it? Too? It's an insane number too that says. Um, 65% of them knew someone who had had to send in their machine and, and for that, a red I ring mean, of death. I've got to guess. I was surprised that number wasn't a little higher because I feel like even if you have an Xbox buddy and your Xbox has never failed, I would think that no, you've got to know someone who's had a no failed Xbox. You know, the thing is, is like all these people have failed Xboxes, but they go and buy a new Xbox one. Because I mean, they that shows you how good Microsoft's product is, but I can't. That yeah. company put out a piece of shit. Yeah. They, they did. did put out a fucking subpar fucking system, or well, I don't want to say the system itself is subpar, but the like components the that components make it, yes. are subpar. But yeah, I mean, it, think about when the PS2 first came out. Some of the issues the PS2 had. Well, PS3 and Wii, PS3 eleven percent. Yeah, Wii seven percent. I mean, obviously you're it's you you can make a quality machine that doesn't freaking break. The Sony machines are. I've had good luck with my Sony machine. Well, I mean, even though I've had a problem, I've had good luck, too. So Yeah, I've had my problem after four years of use, not freaking two machines down in one year of use. No, what can, what can you do about that kind of shit, dude? So, I, I mean, guys, it, it's, it's shocking. That, 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 I mean, honestly, what's really shocking to me is that this console doesn't have more of a bad reputation because of that. I think that it's almost become an internet phenomenon that it's like a giant joke. I mean, think about all the red ring jokes you see online. Dude, and it was like, like it, it's so funny because they were showing back in the day that Game Informer. Joke. That Game Informer was doing it, back in the day and now of the day. Right. And back in the day, it was like blowing on a Nintendo cartridge. Yeah. Today, it's wrapping your machine Xbox 360 in a towel. Exactly. It just cracked me up. Exactly. Yeah, dude. But. The thing is, is like the titles and the system itself, oh. the freaking <laughs> the <wrong part>. like <laughs> oh, fail the Microsoft network okay. Nothing. alone. Goddamn, I think makes Just it worth it to people. They're like, fuck it, you know. My yeah, shit's broke, paying an extra fifty bucks. Yeah, now you, you gotta pay work. for shipping, though. That pisses me off. It was, it was cool back in the day when they mailed you the box, but that day's gone. Oh well. So, uh, Still any, buy another any one other if it news breaks. you guys want to bring up? I I did not have it listed, Blizz but I would want to say. Well, we're going to talk about talk that. Talk about in just World of Warcraft. Second. What the but fuck they're doing to that game? I do want to say the Guild Wars Two trailer looks pretty hot. Did it? Yeah, it does. Mm. Liking that. I didn't even know it was like. It's not even like on my radar. So, I haven't heard anything so about you know, it. Or seen shots. Ha have you heard anything about the expansion to World of Warcraft? What they're going to do? Um. Oh, you want to talk about that stuff first? All right, we're gonna, we'll like talk about BlizzCon racing? stuff first, then not QuakeCon stuff. Well, they're adding RVR, Realm versus Realm, essentially. Right. What is Warhammer online? You fight for resources. Oh, right. Hold on, isn't resources. it Horde versus Alliance? Yeah. Is it Realm versus Realm? That's RVR. Well, sort of. But, like, it, it's <laughs> PvP and arenas. But you're not fighting for resource points and for like ability to like 
invade their territories and like lay waste to their towns and in the new expansion like all of like uh uh the the destruction or horde has come in and laid waste basically everything and so like the areas the that were like really nice so now you're lush, are you fighting for control all, points and you're stuff fighting now for control points now they've also changed it so that the class system is similar to what it is in final fantasy where you can dual class. You can dual class. You can be like a paladin tank. Wow. Yeah. Like to all existing. That almost makes me yeah. want to go back and if I can keep my dude. On top of dudes. that, dude, they're ta they're taking out all the like race requirements for classes. Before you couldn't be an undead hunter, and now you can be an undead hunter, or you can be like a. Uh, is oh, right, because you can like, switch factions. Yeah, right, you can right. be a night elf warlock, or Whoa. you can be a blood elf freaking paladin or some shit. You, it's like wow. really... You make it sound bad, though. I, I understand I they're totally is, raping I Warhammer's it, ideas. I think it is bad. I think it is bad. And I, I think it's going to destroy in my opinion some of the, like the continuity that the game had it might what lose some hardcore fans it's going to lose a lot of hardcore choosing the right fans. character yeah and it's going to i don't know dude i just i just but I the think, fact I that they give you what think, i think it is a bad move on their part to do all something right, like so all right so there's also a new expansion coming out cataclysm that's what i'm talking about all this is happening in cataclysm Right, right. Okay, All so these this is a changes. part of it. Yeah. So, I mean, I got the I got the general impression that for the most part WoW fans were like okay with it just because it was allowing them to do something else and a like dual changing class the game. sounds yeah, huge. Yeah, yeah, but you know, think about They do want think something about new to the do. populate or well, player imbalance. Like how many horde players are there really compared to how many alliance players there are? So, I mean, and when you open up this whole RVR aspect of the game, Dude, the horde are fucked. No, it'll it'll Dude, be just like no it is in way. Warhammer, the where fucked? they said they're not going to launch it till they have at least thirty two of this card. I don't know if they kind. will do it that way. I don't it's know. It's not dude. dance girl. Okay, so all these guys are saying it's not dual class. It, it is dual class, from what I understood. It's like you can be a paladin warrior, a paladin tank. What is it? Okay, some guys are saying secondary classes. Like I don't know. Yeah, I a didn't secondary fucking... class. What is it then? Explain it. <laughs> yeah, use Explain the word secondary. Right. Right. Not Explain it to Who me. Who wants then? to call in? You can uh, Skype us at DJ Wheat or telephone. Dual spec. Nine zero nine five eight one eight five one nine. Dual spec. How? Yeah. How? How is that different than dual classes? I don't. I don't know because I didn't play that game. So. Oh <laughs> well. <laughs> Okay, whatever. All right, Chad is Chad is saying Chad. People, obviously people are the, blowing up about here's, it. Here's what but I want to know. My bottom line is it's going to be fucking gay. So do you think like let's say Star Wars comes out and Star Wars becomes popular? Like do you think Blizzard's next expansion will be like Space Flight or Harvesting or? I don't you know. Think that's they what they're gonna do. Wait till Ion comes out. All of a sudden, you guys can get wings in the next expansion I, pack. It might have. All right, all right. Jordan the Burn is calling in. Let's uh, let's, let's see what he has to say. Okay. So uh, let's bring on. Yo, what's up, buddy? What uh, is is Ed wrong? Right. Hello. Yo, what's up, buddy? What uh, is, is Ed wrong? All right, all right. Failed. Um. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Um. Wait, I have to turn off the stream, I think. Yes, yes. I think you okay. do. What's up? <laughs> um, hey. Um, first, yes, you can um, play more classes with every race. But um, they already implemented a system that allows you to spec um, two specs at one time. So you can play a Paladin, and your main spec, let's say, is Sauli. Your second spec is Protection, which allows you to tank. And so you can switch. So you, you're not playing them simultaneously. You just switch between them, like free. You runs. switch between your special abilities that you can. So you're not right. a whole other class. Absolutely, exactly. Okay. And All do right. you do you think that's sweet? Do you like that? Um, does it make yeah. it, Does it make it pretty easy for you? It brings. Um, it makes it more more easier for weights yeah, to it, organize. Yeah, it totally them. makes it pretty easy, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm playing most of the time PVE, and so I think it's great. I really, I love playing easy games. 
<laughs> that's, now so, it's, that's, that's so that's fun. It's turned into. It's so uh, fun. All right, so I hey, think... we real quick, Jordan. Um, did, are you yeah. excited then for Cataclysm? No, I'm not. Oh, wh why is that? Um, I think Cataclysm just shows how idealist um, Blizzard is because with Ro, um Well, so let, do you think that's because they're focusing a lot of time and effort on their new uh, games and or new MMO? Exactly. Okay. Right. Well, I mean, I mean, honestly, I'd rather them 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 be focusing those resources there. Then do you think fucking... it's even the same people? Like I would think yeah, Blizzard dude. Warcraft I, is just no. its own studio, their own crew. Yeah, it that is, was the other thing. It is, you but it's still mountains it's not Azeroth. like they've it's not like they've like expanded. They they they're still pumping out more content, but they still got the yeah, same. But I don't of think people. I don't think it, I don't think yeah I don't think they're people that are working on Diablo three and the next Starcraft have anything to do with. Oh no, but World what about the new MMO? Like obviously the people who have the specialties in designing that kind of shit yeah, are working like, like, the on the creative a new director MMO is probably working stuff, on so. something else. All right, anyway, uh, Joe, we got a lot more to cover, so thanks for calling and clearing that yeah. up, dude. Appreciate okay, it. Thanks. All right, peace. Bye bye. All right, uh, thank you, and uh, I'm glad that worked out pretty nicely. Yeah. So now that we're all clear. WoW still sucks ass. Okay. So, <laughs> so I want to briefly touch on uh, StarCraft II and Diablo III. Obviously, uh, I think that these are games that we're all looking forward to. Even you, Hutch. Is that is that accurate to say that you're still excited for maybe checking out StarCraft II, even though you aren't really a huge like RTS fan? I don't really like RTSs, but I mean, I want to see it. I want to see the community it builds up. What about Diablo? Were you into wanna, Diablo? Yeah, I am very Frickin excited about loot Diablo. Horror, dude. dude, I love it. Totally. And you know what? I, I just want to say a general blanket statement about both of these games played the single player of starcraft 2 uh played more of diablo 3 and i just like it blows my fucking mind because these games feel done these and games they said feel diablo like 3 won't even be out in 2010 10. hold on one quick lemon cookie i'm sorry i hurt your pussy with the wow sucks comment but uh i don't know it was a just dude, a, a, a nice. Do you not hear about the Warcraft people suiciding all the time? You cannot say you that shit. I know, audience, dude. dude. Look, don't. I mean, they're freaking out on me. They're like, oh my god, you faggot. How can you talk shit about WoW? Let me go douche. That's to all you WoW players out there. There you go. Um, yeah, yeah. Step back from the ledge. Diablo 3 fucking amazing like it i mean i'm hoping they're at a point where it's pretty much just like they're just doing quests and doing like all that shit and and working on the class balances and stuff and and whatever multiplayer aspects that it might have um but the game is amazing it's like it was pissing me off to play both of these games knowing that a we still haven't seen the starcraft 2 beta and b they were probably still waiting another fucking 18 to 24 months for diablo 3 like it really is mind-blowing and also it makes me wonder that i'm playing this gorgeous game right now what will it look like in 24 months in comparison to the kind of shit because dude with batman with some of the other games that are coming out as of late like these games are looking phenomenal and i gotta think at some point it is going to get surpassed once again even though it still looks absolutely gorgeous and amazing both these games like i can't believe that there wasn't a starcraft 2 beta even some blizzard employees said they were, do you think StarCraft 2 looks that visually amazing? Yeah, I do. How did it I, play? You know, I mean, how actually, did it I would be really oh, interested. I can't wait for that review because to me, someone who's like witnessed a fuck ton of StarCraft games and not even in comparison to like some of the, the real diehard fans out there. It's just it's kind of like the way Street Fighter 4 was for me in that they recreated 2 and then like made it a new game. But at the end of the day, it's still very much like part two and the way you you remembered it it's the same thing like the animations how everything moves like it is starcraft but it looks fucking awesome and it does kind of have this like warcraft three-ish feel to it which is kind of hard to to get away from but i think that was inevitable you know you weren't going to get an exact recreation of starcraft you're going to get a blend of and all played, of the stuff they've it, done right? yeah i played it now it the feel? multiplayer it, did it dude it feels great man it feels fucking awesome was there any any rumbles about? Does it feel like, oh my no, god, this is a freaking ten year leap in this game? Any no, it's about, exactly the about game. About no land capability. No, not really. No one really cares. Anymore. Not really. I think people have gotten over it. They get it. Yeah. So BattleNet 2.0 looks fucking amazing. It's gonna kind of be like the the the. Uh, 
I I don't know the proprietary Xbox Live. I think it's going to be that's the what's best holding it back. System. The game's done. No, I I, I think you done, might dude. kind of be right, but it's going to be the sort of best company made system as far as matchmaking and what you can do in it. Just hands down, uh, these guys have really put a lot of thought and like, effort I, into it. I think it'll be amazing. GameSpy's been around for a decade, dude. How hard is it to freaking make a matchmaking service? It's, they're trying it's, to figure out how no, they're no, going to no, get no. your money the wrong question. and how they're going to invade your you're whole system and question. make it something no, that your freaking no, whole computer you're boots the wrong from. Question. The, the, the right question is, is when is someone going to come along and do it right? Because the dude, closest anyone's was gotten, pretty good, dude. What? No way, dude. Well, you still I, use all duty, I, dude. All saying I, I, call I of duty. I just hit join game, and well, then bam! A minute later, I'm playing something. Of like, course, and you can do, do that with all this freaking third party. Because people want people want to make sure that they're not getting cheated against. People want to be able to like track their shit online. People want to make clans, and it's kind of like some of the praise that I give to given to like Warhawk, the way you can do clans there, Killzone Two, the way you like handle clans and shit. They like want to know how you know? can I totally fucking jack their system while they're playing my game, keep them from ever pirating Dude, whatever. It, still okay, sucking up all this their resources. This isn't fucking. This isn't fucking. You know, wanted weapons of fate requiring you to have some sophisticated system. This is like something that will be used for Diablo Three. Will be used for Starcraft. You know, I mean, like, have to give be me like, a break. Dude, stop fucking turning blizzard. on after a month after I'm done what with the game. Ever. It still freaking has traces in my system. Well, you know like what? Actually, fair it. enough. Fair enough. Because you're not one of those guys that will probably play for an extended period of time. But there are huge fucking communities. And what has happened in Starcraft One is that people didn't like what Blizzard offered, so they just made their own shit and. Blizzard doesn't want that fucking shit to happen. <laughs> That's why they're going to take over your whole system every minute you're playing. What? We're going to know, dude. Give me a break. We're going to know. Oh, my God. You're listening anyway, to Miley Cyrus while playing StarCraft 2. We know that, dude. Dude, <laughs> I, I do want to say about Diablo They're, they're going to offer you Miley Cyrus songs what? while you're in the game. Dude, Download right on, man. From, watch, right on. watch, dude. It'll um, happen. The, the, uh, what I'm really excited about for Diablo 3 is the rune uh, attaching to different spells and the way that that works. Um, How's that so, one as you know. Oh, it looks great. Does it? Yeah, it, lo it looks un unbelievable, dude. And it looks exactly like Diablo, just fucking awesome. The same way StarCraft 2 does with StarCraft 1. Uh, Diablo 3, of course, you have your spell trees like normal, but then you have these runes that you can attach to spells that like change the properties. So you might have a, 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 a rune that's like a, you know, a life suck, and it turns your fireball into like a vampiric fireball or something like that. So, uh, you know, I, I I'm really excited about Diablo 3. I, yeah, I'm so, I, I can't yeah. wait to know it won't be until 2011. Yeah. yeah. We probably already talked about it two or three times. Imagine we've got a whole freaking another year. So uh, let's talk about QuakeCon then before we get uh, we take our break and then we talk about uh, our main games here. Just real quickly, uh, BlizzCon, or excuse me, QuakeCon, of course. Uh, we got a chance to see a lot of Quake Live. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about it because we've talked about Quake Live enough. It is fucking Quake 3 at its best, playable in a browser. You can go to QuakeLive.com and I think just sign up for an account right now. I do want to say that, you know, my hat's off to id Software for what they've done uh, with this and, and how they've really listened to the community and really implemented a lot of changes, you know, pre-QuakeCon and post-QuakeCon. What, what's the story about them trying to figure out how they're going to get money from you now? They're, so the story is, is that they are admittedly saying that the in-game advertisements are really making and having no um, outstanding effect on the revenue, a positive revenue for the game, right? I don't think that's a big shock to anyone. IGA uh, is is in the, the red. They, they've lost money. So they've had to consider what are our alternate models because we want to keep this going, but obviously there's a monthly cost, you know, there's a there's costs involved, the development costs, the continuing development, et cetera, et cetera. So one of the things that they're leaning towards, and, and I personally think this is a great idea, is that, you know, offer this monthly subscription fee that would give you the opportunity to, like, spawn private servers that we could play on. Otherwise, you and I would have to go to a private server that anyone could join and, and you know, interrupt our game or whatever. Um, I've seen this technology already in work. Slasher has it. Last night, in fact, Slasher just spawned a server. We were able to play, and no one else could come in. It was just kind of nice dude, I because some fucking quake, you know. Right now, man. See, dude, got, have you tried it? I got the. Itch. Have you it's tried amazing, it? Dude. No, I haven't, it's all dude. web browser based, and it's perfect. Quake three, you and, just full screen, and, and you're playing. You know quake what, 3. dude? You know what? Dude. I had so many people, so many fucking people after QuakeCon message me, go, dude. 
I've never played this game. It's amazing. I can't believe I've never played this game. And, you know, I really believe that it has a lot to do with just how fucking easy it is. Is it just, is it just, it's no mods or anything. It's just Quake, Quake 3, 3, dude, with a bunch of maps you haven't seen, but the game. But, you know, it's got, same. it's got like, uh, it's all set up so you can duel someone or TDM. It's got, it's ready and all that shit. Like, it's what you would expect if you're going to connect to an old school server, you know? Yeah. You wouldn't see any difference. You would not know the fucking difference. Except some of the no, levels might no look different. OSP Except for how quick it downloads. Like and that. No, mm-hmm. no. But they're talking about implementing some of that stuff. Anyway, I'd it was... I'd like to see an OSP implemented on it. It was... It's already kind of built in with everything. Not... That's... Oh, the, yeah. The, the well, stats OSP, and yeah, the, the sure, tournament yeah, sure. style. Absolutely. Um, so... Um, anyway, if you haven't had a chance to try it out, do it. Uh, and, and props to all you guys that, that gave it a shot. I've had a lot of people message me and say, yo, I, I, let's play. And uh, definitely been playing a few more games. I told Force, he's like, why didn't you play Lost Plan- Planet 2 demo? I was like, well, I got sucked into Quake Live. So why it, are you playing that shit at work? What, Quake Live? <laughs> Dude, yeah. because should, I would get, get, I would be... get in trouble. Oh, I just, yeah. One of these days, I will, but no. Dude, I'm, I'm actually I'm a little upset at you that you didn't play Lost Planet 2 demo. Sorry. We're, we're going to get to that. It, it wasn't for my lack of effort. We, we'll we've say got that. five minutes left. Let's real quickly touch on Rage and touch on Wet. Okay, first off, um, so Rage. Your stance changing at all on Rage. So the driving in Rage is pretty much exactly what I expected it to be. It looks like it has a really cool physics to it. Oh, what? It's fucking dope. Dude. It, it was mean, not exactly what you, you're like. You're going to have to drive there everywhere. You're freaking driving, blowing shit up, flipping around. Yeah. Doing crazy shit. But you're dude. still driving. And it's and you know what? Uh, you Just mark my words for us when you're like, dude, once you got to the end of the game, like fucking mutants just kept attacking you. It just kind of kind of got annoying. Just just watch, okay? If they can like if they can keep surprising me with different events and not the same shit all the time, all right, that'll be great. But let's just let's just forget about that right now. Let's talk about the moment I saw Rage for the first time, because my jaw dropped. And about three minutes into watching what I was seeing, my jaw dropped again, realizing that they were demoing it on the fucking 360. Really? Wow. Yes. Yes. Because uh. I totally thought, that, and, and I, you know, I, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they just had a 360 controller hooked up to it, and that's how they were playing it. It's very possible. I kept on asking people next to me. I'm like, dude, is this 360? Did you see it? But, I did think that I saw one of the 360 dev kits have a Rage install on no. it. So, um, I don't know. If someone who was there, and there were a lot of people, um, let me know if they knew if that was... Because if it was 360, you know, it puts a lot of faith into that. It's going to be identical console. to PC. So regardless of what you saw, what you saw is going to be awesome. on the 360. It, yeah. it looked amazing. Um, so... Uh, you know, I, I'm going to just I had a real good laugh when they were introing um, Rage because they were like, so Rage takes place in a post-apocalyptic world. And I'm like, sweet. I love post-apocalyptic worlds, dude. Fallout 3 was fucking great. They're like, see, uh, a bunch of asteroids were coming down and they were going to destroy Earth. So the president or the planetary director of Earth decided that everyone needed to, you know, get safe so that everyone didn't die. So they implemented Project Eden. And in Project Eden, they put people underground in these facilities called ARCs. And I'm like, wait, what? Definitely what? sounded a little what? bit like what? Fallout. Yeah. <laughs> what? You're like, this is Fallout 3? I'm like, and, and like the first thing that comes to my mind, and I like kind of say it under my breath, is like, God, you guys better be fucking happy that <laughs> you, you're now sharing a holding company with Bethesda because they would have sued your ass, dude. Um, so anyway, point being, um, it, it really sounded like, I mean, it sounded fucking Fallout 3. It kind of looks a little Fallout 3-ish. Um, you know, you are a survivor of one of these arcs. The stuff and you come I've seen out look a little. It. it looks freaking... What I absolutely fucking loved about this game, and not only is the modeling great, and the FPS looks like and feels like FPS, and that's what it, Fallout 3 doesn't achieve on, even though it's great. There's so much color in this game. And, like, it's such a contrast when you're fucking, like, walking to the next location... 
and then you walk into one of the cities and they literally have taken everything that they could possibly salvage. You know, you look at Megaton in, 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 in Fallout 3. That place was the most fucking greenish gray. Yeah, they look like just sheet metal. Shit like they made everything that you have ever metal. been in. And maybe that's how, you know, it's going to be. But I mean, like, come on, just because of fucking some nuclear bombs drop and shit doesn't mean color disappears. And I really think, like, if you remember the original Fallout and Fallout 2 had that kind of shit, they had the neon signs, they, like, went for that stuff. Um, this this achieves it nicely. So I like the whole you kind of doing quests. You you have a linear path. Um, there's a lot of like uh, different you know uh, modes and neat shit that they showed. But I think that you know I mean I knew the Did game you would mean be to a say winner. You have a linear path. You can take the linear path. But you have a lot to do on the side. So okay, well that would be linear. So um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there's like tons of other stuff to do. That wouldn't be. No, it, he linear. said you can play the linear you story. You can play the oh, linear oh, path. Okay. Like Red okay. Faction, you could fucking play the linear path. Or you can, you know, like, in fact, that's what it kind of appeared like to me. You could be looking for all these little side quests to do. And, um, But anyway, uh, I, think it'll, I think it'll be great. Last but not least, before we take a quick break, Wet, did you play the demo, Nen? I'm, I'm really blown away because we had a conversation. You were like, this is pretty sweet. Yeah, I thought it was cool. I played the Did you demo. Like it? You like, didn't like this it at is all. Pretty fucking lame, dude. Hold on. Okay, I said to you that I thought the graphics were shit. The graphics were shit. Okay, so fair Super enough. Super shit. But you didn't like like driving down the fucking road with all those cars and Listen, shit. Listen, here's or how I had it. Here's too? how I visualized it. If you're really good, you'll find all these ways to keep linking yourself off right, walls onto right. poles into bad of guys course. to extend the slow motion. You get slow motion every time you jump. So it's like jump slow motion shoot a guy. Jump, slow motion, shoot a guy. Well, we talked about that's what we thought would be so the it downfall. Was so of it. not, not what I was looking for. Okay. And then I'm in the car scene shooting people. Right. And you can shoot the dude who's hanging out the window. Can't shoot the tire. Can't right, shatter the back right, window. Right. Can't shoot anyone else on the street. And not only that, in the middle of me trying to frantically shoot, your character suddenly flies off the car, and you have yeah. the quick time to the next one. Yeah. So. I mean, I, you know, and I was And I'm not there, saying I won't try it, but I'm not buying it. You you probably got the awesome version of Wet, like, from Wheat, because I'd just seen Rage, too. Well, I, I, so you're how could you go from Rage you're to high playing on Rage? Wet. Yeah, I'm like, oh, my God, Rage, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, I saw Wet, too. It's pretty cool. <laughs> no, <laughs> actually, I, you know, aside from the graphics, they, they basically, and you can get the demo on 360 now, um... You know, I, I guess the the more you talk about it right there, it does kind of seem plain Jane. I mean, it was not the way they not only that, but the chick's model doesn't look anything like that cover story chick. It was like, no, hot, dude. no, the no. hot one. Well, she's rugged. She's not supposed to be hot. And it, and it had a did it not have no. a freaking House of the Dead overkill feel to it? Yeah. It, it, like, uh, big oh, time, yeah, dude. That's, that's the other thing I mentioned to you that it that it totally did. Big time, yeah. dude. So, all right, let's take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk about Wolfenstein RPG, Wolfenstein, the Xbox Live Summer of Arcade, Lost Planet 2 demo, and hopefully we'll have a chance to get a couple of your phone calls. Uh, so, episode <laughs> Maybe. Shadow one. Complex, too. Yeah. That's, that's, summer, that's an Xbox Summer, summer Live. Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, we'll be right back. More Epileptic Gaming 185. Do us a Are favor. Are we going to talk about trials when we get back? Drop a tweet. Sure. We'll, we can start off with those. Oh, is that part of the Summer of Arcade? Yes. Okay. You were the one that wrote that in the script, <laughs> by the way. You're a dick. You fucking asshole. All right. All right we'll be back. What about Sploot? Dude, why you got to be such a dick <laughs> all, all the time? He is the a break. dick. We'll be I'm right ready. back after I'm this. ready. <laughs>
I love this level in Wizards and Warriors, by the way. Eight bit memories. Oh yes. So I actually I actually have a video for Force that I want him to watch. Oops. I gotta I gotta kill this first. That's Wizards and Warriors, guys. Welcome back to Epileptic Gaming. I wanna play this video for Force. I just found it today. I don't even know what I was looking for actually, but I saw this video and I was just like, dude, how fucking awesome is this? Fuck all you people who said gears. Ha ha! Daily races going nowhere, going nowhere. The tears are filling up their glasses. No tomorrow, no tomorrow. And I find it kind of funny, I find it kind of sad. There's nothing other than just zombies and mad world. This is just the beginning. I gotta know, Ed. On that There's this one word that pops to mind. Gay. How can Yay! you? Yay! Oh my god, dude! How can you not watch that and just be like, I the gotta be trying this zombie. Song, no, who screw the song? But how could you watch that gameplay of all those oh, zombies blowing dude, up at I'm once and not being like, I want to be part of it? I want to play you even like right it. now. I mean, dude, if you try I don't it, need it. I can fucking live vicariously between you two homos. He's never played it. You guys are you totally gay for Nazi zombies. I am, dude. I'm you are gay for Nazi zombies. Aren't you like you? Aren't you like? Don't you want to be a part of it? Rent it and try it, or just no, at least give it a go. No, I could. I enjoy it just listening to you guys. Fucking, you Ed, can't enjoy Ed, it that you way. You and I you would love fuck. playing it. If you gave it a shot, you would. Love I'm sure it. I would give it a shot. All right, all right. Let's uh, let's get quickly into our reviews. If I can find, uh, there we go. We've got uh, Wolfenstein for the iPhone. Now, you know, why do I even? Why do you care about it? Why the fuck does it? You know, why would we even talk about it? Well, first off, it was developed by id Software and EA, and this is actually a cell phone game that came out quite some time ago. They adapted it to the iPhone, and I'm like, you know what? Wolfenstein's coming out. I'm going down to QuakeCon. That's kind of had Wolfenstein natural, on my right? mind. Yeah, when I. I got it. Did I would do it? So I do have uh, I do have uh, a little bit of video clip here, thanks to a uh, slide to play. Uh, great site, by the way. Uh, Hello, next to touch to a arcade, to so uh, you won't have to listen to him through the thing. So uh, Wolfenstein RPG, um, it, dude, it it literally is an RPG with Wolfenstein. So you move around just like in a Wolfenstein state, as you're going to see right here, using the directional pad and swiping your fingers. But every action that you do in the game is all turn-based. All counts as a step. Right. Now, throughout the game, you're picking up various items. Of course, you're picking up the, uh, you know, different syringes and new weapons and stuff. And uh, uh, basically kind of like playing through. Now, the only thing that it really has going for itself, as far as Wolfenstein goes, is all the sounds, a little bit of a sense of humor, and, um, you know, some redone sprites uh, of Nazis and of some of the monsters the that are here. totally new. I've got to say, guys, really excited to play this game, uh, and and I played it for a few hours. I got through the second level, got into the third level, and killed the boss, only to realize that I could not go any further. And I I knew where I I knew where I had to go, but the game would not let me go there. So I restarted the level, did it all over again. Then a cutscene happened that let me go to the next level. And honestly, by the time I replayed this level a second time, I just felt like, dude. I'm already bored done with it. it. I'm already bored as fuck. And like, while there's a nostalgic, you know, the, like sort of 
sensation that you get playing it. Uh, I just feel like there's so many better action. Like I found myself then going to Zenonia. Um, I just and now I had the opposite reaction. Maybe it's because I haven't played it in hour long spurts. But every chance I've had, I've been popping it on and enjoying it in, like, little chunks. And the fact that you can leave, save at any point. I, I, I mean, I like that, too. I mean, and despite some of the and bugs. And even though this like, video makes it look really slow, the 3D world you move through looks pretty freaking slow. Yeah, this video does it. Like, it I don't know why like it, it it's looks going like really it's slow. so slow. Maybe this. But uh, it moves super quick. And it's um, fun. Like, there's tons of little secrets all around the stage, little hidden just levels Just like to you find. would expect. I mean, it's very Wolfenstein-ish. You just have to remember it's all turn-based. Um, it, it, you know, there's there's a couple of things you see later on where you actually get a it sniper rifle awful. and do some stuff. It, I mean, phone, dude. It, remember, it's not. Yeah, I know. It's, I, I've seen better games on the phone, though. Dude, it's no, not. No, this 3D world is not, not winning doing awards. This justice. Yeah, it's not. And, okay. and this video is not really doing it. And it's not winning awards for its graphics either. Um, but people seem to like it because it continues the Wolfenstein name. It like does have that Wolfenstein humor that goes along with it. It's you know, it's in the like is the pseudo three D environment. Is it turn based? Yes, battles. it's turn based battles. Yes, but it That's, doesn't like it doesn't Wolfenstein feel RPG. like it. It just means every time you shoot, he gets to shoot at you. If you step back, he's gonna get a shot at you. If you move to the left, he'll get a shot at you. You know, every movement counts as a turn, but yet it doesn't really feel like. Wait for him to move, then wait for me to move. You're still moving in real time. Yeah, I don't know why that video is is yeah this video so shittily. yeah it looks like it's running really slow. So this but is, that's the, the problem. That's also the problem with like telling you guys about iPhone games is there's not really ever. The, what well, the thing is that you got to remember is it was three bucks, dude. It was three dollars. So I mean, I'm not again like I spend three dollars on a fucking energy drink. So at the end of the day, I still spent more time playing this game than I would have drinking an energy drink. So and I'm so not and I will play. There's a sniper mode, and that's a lot of fun. Uh, But I, you know, I will play the game. Um, I'm not like going out of my way to find all the secrets and different shit like that. But um, it's just kind of interesting that it was id, it was EA. They plan on doing a little bit more. I was blown away that it came out by id because Doom didn't come out by them. Right. Like why? How why did this one? I don't know. This is something that Carmack worked on for like a long time, a long time ago, and so it's kind of an older game. But uh, anyway, uh, with I that also said, snagged Doom too during QuakeCon. It was a buck ninety nine during that show. I paid five dollars for Wolfenstein. It was ninety nine cents during the freaking con, dude. So nothing special, but uh, if you are a big Wolfenstein fan, you want to get a little bit more of the story. Uh, you might get a, some good times out of. There is a couple like parts that actually made me laugh in the game. Um, because I think the humor is kind of fun. Yeah, partially because like it's so rough, like you, you know. It, but at the same time, it is still bj and it's kind of funny so uh that's that's pretty much wolfenstein rpg for you and uh, do you want to do wolfenstein the real one right now the real or? wolfenstein all dude. right all right so uh let's see i've got a few videos of this as well so drop it <laughs> on us here's what i love here's what i love we told you you know he's playing through the what second level or whatever and it freezes on you you can see that the cutscene needs to happen it hasn't happened i'm playing through wolfenstein and let me tell you guys wolfenstein has one of the worst intros Ever like when you're playing through it, you're like, "This freaking game sucks, dude." I've I played World of Warcraft or not World of Warcraft, Call of Duty, um, five did World War Two, owned it. I'm like, "This is pretty freaking average, ho hum." I'm playing through the first stage. You're running with some guys. You fight through a train station, and it's right at the beginning. And the guy's like, "Follow me," and he runs to this column and he's like looking forward towards the door, saying, "We need to blow this up." Only I walk up to the door and I can't activate it. So I freaking wander all through the stage, find all these secrets, by the way. Freaking wander all through the stage, run all the way back to the beginning of where the whole game started, trying to figure out what the hell am I missing. Quit. I'm like, I can't find it. Quit. Come back. Same scene happens, only this time a freaking dynamite icon appears on the door and I can blow it up. Which is so funny because... The fact that you played Wolfenstein Experience that I played 360 next gen... You know, high def shit, and the freaking same thing happens. Same so thing happens. My freaking game on the first bugs. level bugged out. After that, though, I didn't experience another single bug. I'll just say that. But Wolfenstein, let me tell you guys, when you start playing it, it is freaking average. You're like, this is bullshit. That this is like what the next gen high def Wolfenstein is. But once you get your powers, you know, you're still following the Nazis while they're doing experimental shit, studying the occult. Once you get your powers and you get the ability to enter the demon world or the, the right. spirit world, um, and you realize that the whole stage you're seeing had to be completely retextured twice. Once for the regular version, once for the hellish version. 
And then it starts to become a little bit more interesting because you're constantly popping in and out of the World War II aesthetic into, like, the demon world to hunt for secrets. And, guys, this is a secrets galore game. Like, they want you investigating every little nook and cranny. But what I love and I hope other games take from this is that there's payoffs for searching the world. Every time you find extra clues, it gives you money. The money is used to upgrade your weapons. So your MP40, which you're like, I have shot an MP40 in every freaking game. I'm a so done with this. Times. All of a sudden, you can get this gallon drum. You get this extended you know, barrel on it that lets you shoot further. You get um, all these upgrades that happen to it. So like your guns kind of start off ho-hum, but you really want to investigate those levels and upgrade them. So upgraded levels are pretty cool. You know, I'm watching the, ch- but the, the, the video that everybody else is watching, and I'm just wondering, is, is Wolfenstein one of those games that maybe they should just let die if I, can i just say one thing and and uh, please incorporate this into your answer for us but i really felt like it there was a little bit of like a stretch i mean granted they've always talked about the nazi occult stuff and it's even been a part of of wolfenstein but it was kind <laughs> of like listen dude when you see the supposed technology they had in 1940 and it looks exactly <laughs> like the shit they're using in the 2040 games we're playing yeah, they stretched it a bit. Okay. <laughs> but I mean with the occult <laughs> stuff bit, too. Just a bit. With the occult stuff too. Right? Oh my god. It's 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 comical now. It's almost it, Okay. It the just, story itself takes itself seriously and you really feel like you have reasons to go to the next shit, but they did. It just totally seems like it. Wolfenstein has ran its course with Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Like I, I thought maybe that should be it. Well, here's what's a bummer about it is Wolfenstein is like the title that put it on the map that got me in computers right, in the right. first place. Why isn't it getting the love like Doom 3 got or was supposedly Doom 4, which is going to rock our world? And, you know, why is it been relegated to my the freaking sidekicks to work Doom on? Doom 4 is out. not going to rock our world. If it if it's on this Rage Engine, which I already think looks unbelievable, it has a chance. But I'm just saying that is getting more love than this. And Wolfenstein, I think, put him on the map. But, um... Moving on, here's what kind of sucks about the game. The graphics, you've seen better graphics. Right. That's what kind of bums me out. They have a hub world. So you're in, like, this main town, and they give you excuses to, like, jump in a Jeep and go to a factory. we got to go down to the sub bay. You know, reasons to leave the stage, but what happens is every stage you play, you have to go back through the same city, only now there's more bad guys. So you're going through the exact same map five or six times, and it's getting more annoying each time becoming more difficult to walk through the map each time that really sucked that they decided to make it and make it feel like a grand theft auto game you know an open sandbox game but it's still very linear you're only choosing between two sides you right. really only have ever had two choices in the game and um you have to slog through the same shit over and over that really bums me out um i will tell you guys though that it really picks up the action does if you just like shooting shit tons of bad guys with badass weapons this is the game for you. Some of the alien technology, the occult weapons, this gun right here melts everyone into a freaking pile of goo. And it's a freaking, it's fun using it. That's what I like. A lot of the occult weapons are really fun to use. But I still found myself at the end of the day relying more on my machine gun, more on my uh, Call of Duty 5 weapons, my World of War II weapons. But it's an entertaining game. I do not believe it got the love that it deserves. I can't quit without mentioning how they freaking screwed up multiplayer. What? Well, oh, First yeah, off, so. it has a Game Spy server, which takes you forever to load, and there's all these like 8 to 24, 6 to 24, where you jump in, sit in lobbies forever, waiting for more people to pick that server out of thousands on the list. That sucked. Ouch. Wolfenstein rocked because it had classes. You had your freaking right. soldier class that had all the weapons, the medic who could drop medic packs, the engineer who could freak, or the ammo dude who could drop ammo shit. Well, in this game, every time you kill someone, you get money. And what that money allows you to do is then you can buy a perk. So you can be a medic and only have access to a machine gun. Can't do anything medic-y until you've played probably 15 matches and unlock the ability to drop a health pack. Lame, it dude. was freaking terrible to start with. Now, I'm Why sure after weeks, if it caught on, that? it'd be different. And here's what else sucks. To keep people playing the game. You have to buy the shit every time, every match. But that means you could choose to dump your money into the soldier spec this time. But you're stuck with it. Like, you have to buy this shit every time. And it just seems ridiculous that I pick a medic and I don't have some sort of starting... Medic ability. You mean even that doesn't carry over from game no, to like, game? I don't understand why anyone would start with anything but a soldier 
to shoot shit and gain money. Like, there's no excuse to choose a medic in the early stages until you've played 20 some matches and you can afford to buy the medic pack. Okay, okay. Or the I ability to revive someone. I now, once that happens, you can run as a team, healing each other and keep ammo on each other if you're with a good team. It could be great. But the system they built around it freaking sucks. It is a total letdown, especially after I loved Return to Castle Wolf. Yeah, Ball and I did player. too, dude. I that, did too. And, and, and I, to I want to. Now, do the alien, or the, excuse me, the alien, do the Nazi weapons come into play at all in the multiplayer? You know what? You have to buy the shit. You can't, I don't even think you can select them. Don't quote me, but I don't think the alien weapons are in the gun or in the game at all. Definitely not in, in the, the multiplayer. Uh, yeah, I played 12 matches because you get an achievement for like every time you beat a stage for the first time. Here's what else sucks. The achievements say be on the winning team for the majority of the time on this map. So I play it for two minutes. I'm like, this team fucking is getting their ass kicked. So I'll just swap to the other team. Get my achievement for being on the winning team. What? You can dude. swap teams at any time, Oh, my dude. God, dude. That sounds like some old school Quake 3 dude, pub shit right lame, there. It was lame, dude. Man, we're getting our ass kicked. Let's just stack this team in yeah, like eight on versus two. And I did it. I kept freaking doing it. Got my achievement. You are such a fucking achievement whore, dude. That I sucks, guys, because I would, not, okay. if they would have given me the old school, I'd be playing it because I enjoyed it, not because I was just trying to get achievements. Yeah. To it clarify really worth it. for you people, he's not saying that the, the alien weapons aren't in the game he's just saying he doesn't think they're in the they multi, definitely i didn't get that far enough to get her aspect oh yeah it, in, so. the, in the single player game the alien guns wrong. so give us the lowdown dude you rental know, honest, rental i mean disappointment that it didn't give it the love it deserves that's it i'm done dude buy it rent it borrow it is that our yeah it's a, a it's a rent it. standard right and now? then laugh at the it's guy still fun to rent this guys no it does get better. Don't base it. Don't judge it on the first two stages, but it doesn't really go that far. If you just want to blow up shit, it's kind of a guilty pleasure. And one other comment, because I did get my hands on it a little bit. Would you agree, now having played through it, do you think that they really Call of duty the aiming? No. Oh, my God. Hold down left trigger to zoom in. I have to push in my stick to sprint. Same reload button. Right. Dude, exactly, they call a duty it. And that's what sucks because it, so. that looked pretty five, sweet right there. Call what of Duty was that? Five was a superior game. Like that's what blows me away. The assassin. The assassin looks dope. That looked no, pretty the cool. The characters look cool, but it's it's still freaking the same Nazis you kind of fought in the last one. Hmm. And the same, but there's like certain bad guys that only appear when you swap into the dark world and shit. And they have some neat boss battles. The last boss battle is freaking frustrating. It's just like dump tons and tons of ammo into him type of in boss but they do have a lot of cool bosses like i said it's kind of like the michael bay film it's fun action packed but you kind of forget about it after right you're done. all right there's wolfenstein for the 360 uh, it's Word. also available on the pc and the ps3 and uh so with that being said uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the other xbox live and summer. i can kind of let me do these two at the same time sure Let's and do. i've got some trials explosion you man have some trials trials, trials hd and trials. explosion man believe I think it or I not i put them in the same are pretty thing. damn um similar in game style and the execution to, is to totally clarify, different if you guys okay. are are waiting for us to do a batman review that's not happening this week no, yeah. that's just, not just we, we said so that at the beginning of the show. Now people keep yeah. keep crying. No, though. let the people who so. aren't paying attention freaking eat at Yeah, it. bitches. <laughs> um, oh. Trials HD Explosion Man. I played the demo of Trials and was like, shit, I, I'm buying this dude. And then I was like, screw it. You know what? I get 800 points back if I buy all the Summer of Arcade tiles. So I was like, I'll buy Explosion Man. I'm getting all the points back anyway. So I snagged it. Know that, guys. That's worth it. Now that you're getting 10 bucks back for $50 on five great games. But Trials HD, when I'd heard it compared to Excite Bike, which is one of my favorite Nintendo games of all time, I was like, shit, dude, I'm going to try it. I'm glad that I did. Game, so simple. Right triggers gas, left triggers brake. You can tilt your guy forward and backwards. Trying to get through a stage in as fast as you can. Most stages can be beat in a minute. Right. And that's what Real it's cool. all about is can I do it in a minute? I will play a stage and I will die 64 times and it'll take me 60 some minutes to beat. But then I'll watch videos of other people playing it and you try to figure out how they did it. And that's what's great is that this is definitely a game. I like why they call it trials. It's trial and error. Keep trying different shit. And um, it came out of nowhere. I was not expecting to get hooked on this game like I was. Yeah, whatever these, these Microsoft videos that I pulled down are like total failure. So I would just like to, <laughs> get, <laughs> I would just like to say, beginning. you know what, Microsoft? Fuck you, because you have issued me the worst. Look at like, 
I'm hearing the fucking racing, but the goddamn video isn't even. Pl like, I know. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? There we go. There's some racing. Look at that. I go through, and all of a sudden, it actually starts working. But so it'll probably fuck up. Look at it visually. It looks oh. freaking sweet for an arcade title. That's one thing that I noticed right away is it looked dynamite. The lighting's dynamite. Some of the special effects that happen during the races are dynamite for a freaking downloadable title. Yeah. It was just awesome. You get like 70-some tracks, which is just an unbelievable amount. Not only do you get the races, but each one of them comes with like um, skill challenges, which were like, how far can you make it on one wheel? How far can you make it off this ski jump? You know, where you just keep trying those same games where you drive and it's nothing but um, flippers from a pinball machine that just keep trying to flip you around and you see how high you can go. So there are all those mini games locked within the original game. And I love right. the fact that you can play it. It's all about how many retries. Can you beat a stage without having to retry? It reminds me of Excite Bike. It is Excite Bike. It totally reminds me of Excite And not only Bike. that, but it comes with a really fully featured make your own stage, which is totally out of my league, guys. It is freaking deep. The shit that you can do with it, and it's beyond my comprehension. Yeah, it is twelve hundred points, guys. For those asking, so fifteen like bucks, 14 guys. Ninety-nine. It is totally worth it. And what is great is that there's a lot of times you only got ten minutes, twenty minutes. You know, dinner's in twenty minutes. What can I play for freaking in that short amount of time? You can jump on this, keep trying a stage, maybe unlock a medal, and then quit. It just instantly saves everything. So it's very jump in, jump out. And what I love is the leaderboards and your friends. It displays all your friends' times. And if you get, uh, if you beat a stage and you're in the top 5,000, which I beat one, I'm like in the top 300. I'm like, holy shit, dude. How'd I do this? Everyone can view your replay. So if you get really frustrated with the stage, you just look at the top dudes instantly, guys. This is on demand, instant. Right. Watch their replays. See how they did it. Learn from it. Jump back into it, and then you try it. And it is freaking I'm going to give this a go. Awesome. I, I, I want to get I'm, it. I'm like You're so sold. Yeah, and it the looks, thing it is, looks, it, it looks fun. No, it gets really physic, physic-y, I guess right. you could say. It really uses physics. Like, you really have to shake your guy back and forward to get him to lurch himself over some bumps. You really got to perfectly balance your weight so that your wheel's high enough to make it to the next stage. Does this shit not look dope? It looks dope. You know what yeah, else is awesome dope. about this game? Is that my kid just totally gravitated towards it. And you yeah, want to know what? My I kid loves it, too. And the skill challenges where you can just keep retrying the fun little side games over and over is, is really fun. You get a ton of value for the 15 bucks. But, guys, just know up front, the second half of the game is freaking brutal. Like, I'm telling you, it took me 60 tries and 30-some minutes to beat a stage. But it's one of those where I didn't make me want to stop. I wanted to learn how did these guys do it. I'm pissed that it took me this long. And um, dude, that there's shit some is neat, awesome. Neat that that shit is awesome, that happened dude. during it. Like, I that mean, I was funny. playing the simple shit, and now I'm seeing like this more, like this way more complex stuff. And this is awesome. And you know what, Forrest? It's suddenly like hammering into my head just how tough that that fucking map editor must be. Because I it's mean, all this shit that's tough. happening is like perfect. Him going like backwards and then hitting the ramp on the downswing and stuff. Here's the only shit. thing that bums me, and I don't know if I haven't figured something out or if it's only available, is that I can only get the maps from my people and my friends list and i i'm not real sure how do i get into the world how do i Oops. get the top 500 maps or whatever as of right now i can only figure out how to get maps from my friends that's uh and even that's my nice. friends have built a couple but i mean oh look at that guys some of you out there are, are making me want to be better i'm seeing your freaking times and i'm trying to beat them and nice i'm 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 glad that i purchased it all right so you're definitely on board for this one not a throwaway title for the no, xbox and it, uh, was not, it was i was like not, ex arcade. not excited for it at all all right, so and let's talk about Explosion Man, Explosion which Man, I don't quick. have uh, footage of, guys. Explosion Sorry. Man, believe it or not, is very similar I'll just to, keep um, watching this well, That's shit. what I was going to say. I feel distracted. <laughs> can, we at least, can we at least not watch this? What are you talking about, dude? Just, just look away from the um, TV. Explosion Man. Look at that. He's fucking riding in a ball, dude. It's like a carnival inside of Trials HD, and he finished. It's like American Gladiators. Nice work. No, Explosion Man, here's what you got to know right away, okay, when you get one this more. game. Yeah, one more. Okay, talk about <laughs> Explosion Man. I want to hear about Explosion, explosion man. man. All right, here's the way it works, guys. A is jump, is explode. Um, X is explode. The yellow button is explode. All your buttons are And then explode. the red buttons explode, okay? So I'm pretty sure you guys can figure this out. Wait, All hold right? on one second. Was that just how far do you launch yourself? Look at these. And dude, did you find out... If I do a front flip right away, I can just fling myself across oh the stage. My God, if I do dude. a back flip I at the right time. Okay, sorry. Explosion, man. 
we have to um, stop this. I can't do the video. It, look, with it's a, look at it. It's almost at the end, dude. It's gonna stop right here. It's gonna. Stop. All right, I'm ready for it. Susie oh, you know. I've beat this dude. I've so beat this guy's attempt. You have. Oh yeah, I think I got one of the top scores on my friends list right now on this one. There it is. And it's all no about more. lurching your dude forward right when you're about to flip off. That was the awesome. Dude. All right. So, Explosion Man, like I said, every button's explode. Gotcha. You can explode three times. Once, twice, three times. Oh, okay. Triple jump, okay? This game's all based around a triple jump. How do you base a whole game around a triple jump? These guys are freaking geniuses, okay? <laughs> I, I mean, the things that they keep throwing at you... So here's the way it works. You're running through a stage. There's all these little scientists that you blow up. The art style is totally awesome. Totally has kind of like a 3D Kay. Castle Crashers, you know, that kind of art style right. feel. Um, running around blowing up 3D dudes. Looks sweet. They Even though it's 2D, the camera's constantly swinging behind you, panning out, swinging into you. So it still gives depth of field, even though it's all, you're only moving right. left to right. Right. So jump to a wall, bounce off it, jump to another wall, reach the ledge, jump up. Kind of doing that concept for a little while. Then all of a sudden, there's like barrels that'll fling. So if I explode myself and then explode right by a barrel, I can kind of fling myself a little further. And then the next stage is barrels are dropping. So if I explode off this barrel and explode right as the perfect time as this one's dropping, now I'm getting all these other stages. Then there's like walls that are closing in on you. So you're bouncing back and forth against these walls, trying to hit an explosion to boost it to the side. And um, one like button. a couple flash games I've played. One actually. button to explode. And the freaking shit that these guys do with it is just genius in some of these stages. And it's exactly like Trials in that you're really trying to do it within a time. You right. know, you get infinite continues. You really don't get thrown that far back if you die. Can you figure out how to do this? It is platforming at some of its best. Interesting. And they get mad hard. But you don't really get frustrated because, like I said, you can just keep retrying right by it. Um, they do some crazy shit like, you know, spinning wheels. Can you jump on the spinning platforms while you're launching yourself into a dropping barrel that'll shoot you all the way across the stage where you have to perfectly slide down a wall before an electric barrier comes down? And, like, you just feel like, holy shit, dude, wow. I'm the bomb for figuring this out. Or I feel like the shit it's that I was able to get my feeling timing to it. that well. That's exactly it. And the fact that it was freaking 10 bucks, and if you bought Capcom, if you bought freaking Turtles, you're basically get Turtles, that one for you're free. getting that one for free. Yeah. And... It was just awesome. Now, no, I've played it the least of the arcade titles because Trials is really keeps me coming back. But Explosion Man is one that I'm definitely looking forward to you can keep to beating the completion. It. And it's one of those where you can play it within just a short amount of time. There's neat little secrets hidden without it. Like, you, you beat the stage and you feel pretty good. But holy shit, did you know that there was a cake all the way up in the top left that you could have done this even crazier-ass shit to explode to? And... um I, I just it's one of those things where it's all about design. It's not fancy graphics, it's not fancy freaking dual analog, uses all twelve buttons, but it's like that old school Thank gameplay goodness. with the freaking new school shine and I just nothing wrong I love with that. It. I love it. Nothing wrong with that at all. All right. Next game. You ready to talk about Shadow Complex? You ready Complex? for the real one? Oh dude, I fucking loved Shadow Complex. I'm still playing it. I'm going for 100% completion. Yes, is as it? as was I, and you are going to find out that it is much, much harder no way, than dude. you think. Yes, bro. Trust me. No way, dude. Do you know me. what? Okay. Hey, dude. I you just know got... What? Did, okay, do you remember oh. there's that part, like, uh, the conveyor belt and the... And the um, they're, God, fuck. They're See, taking you know what? The crates, Hold on. No, they're taking the crates and they're dropping them into that... Yeah. In that oh, yeah, thing. Yeah. And if you stand on it, you die. Right. And if you're falling down that wall, you can see, like, you're like, dude, I can get into that fucking wall right there. Yeah. I figured out how to do it today. <laughs> I think I, I think I dude, got that one. I figured out how to yeah, get I that think wall. So. How? Well, I, I, what did you have to blow it up with? A grenade. And you're falling. Um, so no, how did you do it? You foam. This you is, foam. Yes. Yes. You use your grappling yes, you hook. Foam. Then you put foam on it. And then you sit on your foam and put the grenade, grenade in. And it yeah. blows it open. Actually, you would be Dude, shocked. I spent forever trying to get Dude. myself stuck on a ledge. I, to do I, 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 I have figured out. Stuck on I a have ledge. figured out so many like unique ways to fucking blow yes. doors open or to get yeah. into those little Dude, hidden areas. Your foam is actually, in my opinion, one of the greatest things that you have. Like it, it is, is unbelievable the amount of shit no that you can shit. do with that foam. Yeah. Um, so guys, for well, uh, going back to it, and actually, and I want to make sure I return to a point because there was something there when you were like, "Do you remember?" Because it's like one of my only complaints about the game. Anyway, first off, Shadow Complex is absolutely at its best 
uh, a, a reimagination of a hybrid between Castlevania Symphony of the Night and Metroid. I mean, I don't think you can describe it any more perfect than that. In every way, shape, and form, don't you, it yeah. follows Don't you that love model. it when someone yeah. says... I'm going to do a Metroid style game. I'm yes. going to do a Symphony and then they Night do it. and they deliver. They, it. Deliver. they deliver. Yeah. I mean, from everything to like, oh, I can't get past this part because I need to freeze you know, this one it, monster. You know, in Metroid. It, you know what else it was reminiscent to? Rolling Thunder. Do you remember Rolling Thunder? Of course. Thunder, yeah. Oh, sure. In the animation style, the way yeah. you shoot. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. It definitely has that Rolling Thunder feel too, and I really enjoyed Rolling Thunder in the arcade. So. Just like Metroid, you're, you know, in Metroid, you get your freeze beam, and then you get your fucking screw attack, and then you get your high jump. It's like the same shit, but they make it into this whole, it's all, like, They should almost feel a little bit guilty. <laughs> I don't think so, <laughs> though. How much they stole. Was, you know what, though? Like, again, these guys knew that fucking Metroid was a great game. They took it out of it. They didn't try to like take sand. But I like that they didn't hide it. They said they from day one, we're making it. Super we're making Metroid. Super Metroid. So I've got some uh, footage of it. We definitely uh, think that we should we should play here while we're talking about it. But I mean, that is the game. You go through. You get different special weapon from grenades to foam to rockets. And then there's all these little areas that obviously you can't get through this door until you have you know this uh, rocket to blow up or or this or that. Now underlining uh, story of it all. I gotta say, it's pretty fucking weak. It is weak, dude. The story isn't Listen, the greatest. Dude. Who's ever talked about story in a downloadable title? Well, the fact that we're even talking about it, I think, look, gives look, it props. Okay, okay. You know they what? They have a neat twist. I they have give... a pretty neat twist at the end. Oh, give me a fucking all right. break, no, dude. All right. I'm not, sorry. Let's not I'm talk sorry. about it, I'm dude. not going to talk about anything I have other than right. saying that it's fucking gay. It's okay. all right. Okay, okay. It's, it's right. fucking gay. Because I, right. I haven't, I haven't completed. Oh, you just got braid. I braid. haven't completed the game yet, so. Because I'm trying to get 100% completion. I'm uh, I I have a okay. lot. I did you get the run across the water yet? Walk on water achievement? No, I that? have not. Because I freaking screwed up. I like played through the main storyline too far. You did? You can always go back, can't you? No, no, because you'll get rid of the water. You'll there's see. a certain part. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Anyway, there's a couple different places you can do that. Cause oh, I, is there? I, I assume do. it was the lake no, at the top. No. Uh, no, there's not. But anyway, um, uh, so I mean. They put it all together. They did a thing. I want to talk about the one thing that I, I didn't like about this game is is that didn't follow the Metroid, that didn't follow that whole, um, th you know, that, that whole, like, moniker of, of what Castlevania was, and that when you played those games... If Molly you, gives away the end, kick if him you out. Say you say boss fight. No, no, not even the boss fights. Those were okay. Um, it's like... You could put me on any place in the map on Metroid, probably even right now, and I could be like, yeah, I know exactly where we're on. We're in Kraid's Lair. We're right above. If we go down here, we drop down two bombs, we'll be able to get to the boss room and blah, 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 blah. I really felt like I had a hard time remembering the, the Oh, yeah, the layout of, of the map. And right? I don't know if it was just because you went through different aspects so much, and but, like, I can't you get tell you. You get cut. familiar to the top half of the map, but that bottom, Dude, yeah. I want it, no, but hold on. So, like you, I'm going for mad completion, right? I'm, like, going in. I'm trying to get it done. And there's all these parts of the map where I realize that I can't get to where I want to go because I forgot that you've got to be on the top of the elevator yeah, instead yeah, yeah. of in I, the, the elevator. elevator stuff I've been doing. And so and I like, like the elevator oh, stuff, oh dude. God. Because there you got to crawl up. you got to crawl up. you got to go through the fucking right. air vents and then jump down, get the elevator to See, go down. And people dude, are saying, people are saying that trying to get 100% on your first time is, is kind of crazy. Well, I know and it is, but I gotta I'm agree. still so going to attempt to do it. No, I'm not going to try not to. I know, but I mean, you get to start with everything. It's pretty awesome. Dude, the point being, like if that's the worst thing that I could possibly think of in this game, I I had a couple other bugs there that I want to talk about. I had two bugs. Okay, well, I, I had a me, I had a bug and I have a point of contention. I want to tell you my funny bug. Okay? okay, so I just got like the gun you get after the MP40, like the actual assault rifle, right? Yeah. And um, so I get into I I get this gun and then I get into a um, I get into this cutscene. And I'm going to actually go back to myself on this. So, literally, you, I'm going to recreate exactly what happens in the cutscene. You're the bad guy. 
and home dude runs in the fucking wannabe uh wannabe uncharted guy by the way and he total runs Nathan in Drake, dude total he runs in and what i think happened is i think i was reloading the moment i walked through a door and a cutscene activated because he like runs through and he points his gun at this guy but what you're seeing on the screen right now is exactly what i saw like his gun was gone so he's like he's all like rushing him down with this fucking invisible gun it just looked really fucking funny <laughs> Uh, the, I, like, I like the fact that his name's Jason. <laughs> Jason, a little Borny, a little, a little Jason Borny. Born. Um, that we, me and Deborah have a little funny, little funny thing now. Every time she's like, "Well, how'd you do that?" And I'd say, well, "It was my ninja training." <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> there are funny quips in the in the freaking in in the game. Like if you listen to the conversations that the people are having, right? One of my favorite conversations was you're sneaking around in the top of the vents, and the guy's like, "You know what? When we take over, you know, when we take over the U.S. after this, I'm gonna move the Cubs, and you're gonna think." Yeah, it's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like that is fucking awesome. Because <laughs> yeah, I like, I am a big Cubs fan, and they completely suck shit right now. And so right now, last year, they were pretty decent, except they blew it in September. Has it been 70 some years since they've been decent? <laughs> Dude, they got a sheeny curse on them. So, so. Um, uh, you know, guys, I mean, there's no hiding it. I would say that if you haven't spent your 1200 points in this game, that you're just stupid. Can they've got a lot that? of 15 freaking dollars. I know. Dude, and you know what? This. It is super. I will go and back. You see how big it, it is again. Yeah. You remember their old like. 50 megabyte limit. This right. shit's like 850 meg. What a bunch of BS. It they is, sold out. They know where it's at. It no would caps. be, it is like if, if an 8-bit Nintendo came out, 8-bit Nintendo game came out and it had fucking awesome graphics. This is what I just bought and played through. Yeah. And and I will play through it again, like I did play Metroid like three times and, and It whatnot, is you know? well worth the $15. Think, think about the this, dude. Cost. That, Trials, Explosion Man, freaking, um, Cap Marvel versus Capcom. Yeah, it's like sixty dollars worth of shit. You get ten bucks back if you buy them. Like I have freaking yeah, gotten a full titles purchase worth of my this, summer arcade summer. titles, dude. This game actually, I wanted to play through to the end. I wanted to do everything in it. I can't say that about some of the next gen. Titles and doesn't that kind of piss up. you off a I've little bit? I got bored with them. Yeah. yeah. It does piss me off because I'm dropping sixty fucking dollars on a game that about totally. halfway through, I'm like, okay, sweet. I I think I'm done. Yeah. You know, and I, this I game, I'm you. like, dude, I can't put it down. I want to fucking, I'm going to be late for work. I fucking just got to get to this yep. next safe spot. Right, right. You know, um, I had two problems with the game. One was at the very beginning when it started. Uh, my screen was completely black, and I heard conversation. God, and it, I was like, should I have like a flashlight or whatever? bug that I've You know, like, of. should I, I have a flashlight zero. going on? weird? I had zero And bugs. so I just kind of ran back and forth, and then finally the screen came, too. And like weird. It, then that I was like, weird. okay, what the? What fuck? was your other bug? Because I had one other. No, one it's too. not a bug. It's a it's a gripe. Oh, okay. Do you want me to, do you want, let me tell you my gripe. Other gripe. Okay, tell me. Is that the bosses are way too easy? Okay. Yeah. Don't you think? I will tell you that I never fired my gun on the end boss. They're the whole just end too boss, easy. Never fired my gun. And I guess I mean that's okay that they're easy. I mean it makes it a quick, fast, fun play. But I wanted a little bit of a challenge, like when fighting these bosses. Like I have not died to any of the huge armored guys. I didn't yeah. die to the mobile saw thing. Yeah. Like I want to die. I won't at say least I never once. died to any of the bosses, but it didn't take me too long to figure out yeah. what I was supposed to do. So I had one other, and I was okay with the bosses. You know, I mean, they they gave me enough challenges, but. The only other bug I had was this bug in this room where you had to run on a conveyor belt and beat this box that was coming out that got grabbed by a crane. And then you, you crawled up into a vent. And I had this really strange thing happen to me where it wouldn't, it like created an invisible wall that I couldn't get past. And I actually had to go several rooms away, come back. And then when I came back, the box actually was just stuck in the middle of the conveyor belt. Yeah, and then I it, have that too. My box you did is see stuck that too. too. Like and, then, and then it let me go forward, but it was just so strange because as Force mentioned, he did not have any bugs. We saw some bugs in some various demos that were released, but you know what? Even with that shit, it didn't fucking Dude, matter. This game was this tight. Scene, now, this now, little scenes where you jump on the turrets, just like, yeah. yeah when it goes now, full 3D and you're like, shh, I like kicking ass. This is awesome. I liked getting on the guns like that, but I found they were a little squirrely. 
Oh, they were, yeah, but there wasn't a focus. In, not when you Can you imagine, though, just the fact that it was yeah. there to begin with? Zoom in. That's kinda, the it, problem. It kind of had, yeah. like, auto aim. It slows them down. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, makes yeah. it kind of suction to people, not exactly how you're aiming it. Yeah. But okay. you have perfect control when you zoom in. But those scenes rocked. But those scenes I loved them awesome. when they went that full 3D for just that little bit. I wish there were more of those. Um, I think that these guys did uh, a phenomenal a job. Awesome job. The graphics are unbelievable. The sound is good. The music, you know, works with the game as... as uh, Ed mentioned it's got some funny little you know lines in it. The 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 classical music when the place gets flooded and you're like swimming around and you see all the bodies. Oh, yeah. and it's just like oh this, dude, this chamber music playing shit. and you're like yeah dude that's cool I can see that. There's uh there's definitely some great shit in this game. Um there is some like funny stuff too because even though you're playing in a 2D environment it's very 3D looking. Yeah. And there's like funny parts where you're like oh. I can't just swim around this pipe. I've got to swim, you know, like and over, over and yeah. under. So, I mean, but once your head gets into that 2D Well, they also, they also mode, do some bullshit cheating with the 3D, too, where they, like, they have do. secrets hidden behind, like, that you can't oh, yeah. see. Oh, yeah. you got to crawl Here's behind a box that you don't know. There's no sharks, There thankfully. are achievements that you get in the game that things you do, like... Headshots. Headsh I like that they track the that shit. And it tracks it, and I just passed you in headshots. Oh, yeah? That's at, right, because it keeps popping up your friends with scores passed you in done. headshots at, like, 204 or something like that. And then I, I'm, I was trying to pass 5XL, but somebody else on my friends list has 320 melee kills. And wow. I'm, I'm up to like 240. Yeah, I have a I'm ton like, of melee. I melee the fuck out That's of towards the end. Dude. I was meleeing because you can like suck them out of the background too yeah. and freaking beat their ass. Yeah. With I was meleeing the shit out of people. Actually, like, good no, question, Swarly. I totally thought in swimming that I was going to have a problem with it, but there's never enemies. There's like little floating uh, enemies yeah. that you shoot once, yeah. so I did not have any problems. And there's you like to like the helicopter, like the bullets aren't just zipping down; they're like yeah. swooshing oh, yeah. all around the water yeah. at you. And they, shit. they also give you unique ways to kill mo or some of the some of the mobs too in the game. Like if you shoot those bombs and kick them, kick right. them at the they people. hit somebody, right. they can die. Or sometimes you'll see like an electric box. And if you shoot the electric box, then the electric cable will fall down and right. like, uh, uh, shock. I got people. hooked on because you or know shooting the flame barrels, like shooting the. I barrels. like trying to figure out how can I make people scream. You know, yeah, how, make I them get scream. That, how can I make knock them, them so they fly off the edge as yeah, opposed to just so. dying and shit? It was it was fun. Yeah. So all guys, the way through, I never all felt the way tedious. through, never exactly. Uh, this is an absolute must buy. It, it must totally buy. gets the EG stamp of approval. And I'm really sad. And I actually, I really wish that it was on PSN because I really think you guys that don't have an Xbox 360 are being are cheated out. of a very fantastic game. Yeah, and you they know are. what? I don't do this very if often. If you don't have a 360, you already fail in life. That's but all I say right this, now. This game definitely deserves a good old... It does. Yeah. Uh, I mean, thank you once again for reviving a fucking kick-ass genre that was all but dead, you know, for the past, fuck, almost 15 I, years. And let me tell yeah. you guys, you yeah, know, it's not happening until next week. But if you have that Metroid vibe going on, Arkham fits it pretty nicely right now. Really? Yes. yes. And that's yeah. all I'll say. I want to say for Castlevania for say the DS. Rest of the all right. Well, I guess that could be argued, but but you know what? It was still 2D. It was still nothing has like argue about done it what this with way. Castlevania t on the DS. Um, the fact that that was kind of like the Metroidish like series, but it's what? still we said Castlevania. Everything well, after Symphony of the Night well, has been right, the same Well, right, but I game, said guys. a genre that was all but dead. Yeah. And, I mean, yeah, I played through all, all those games, All but dead too. in today's next-gen world. In today's next-gen world. Thank you very much. So, now That's let's get into for. our next game. And I'm going to harken back to something I said when you first reviewed Killzone 2. Yes. And I said, dude. Lost Planet 2 demo, guys. Wait till Lost Planet 2 comes out because it's going to fucking be way better than Killzone 2. Than Killzone 2? Yeah. And I'm going to stand by that. That fucking demo. And the demo is just one stage. Ass, Four dude. people against one that boss. That demo was fucking fun as shit, dude. I am so excited for what four-player co-op brings to the table. If it's anything like that one boss fight the that we had. The one boss fight that we had. Too. Now, granted, I haven't played a lot of Killzone 2. And Kill this is Zone it that 2, we're seeing in the video. And so if you guys don't believe me on that, then that's fine. 
But from what I did play of Killzone 2 and what I've played of Lost Planet 2, Lost Planet 2 has literally blown me away with this demo. I, I could say I it's probably so one of the biggest excited. bosses I've ever seen in a video game. Yeah. As a bad guy, it is freaking amazing. Wait, wait, wait. Can you just repeat that last statement you just this made? This is one of the biggest bosses you've ever fought in a video game. It's huge. And is I'm it, talking like you fought the whole monster. Shadow not of like the Colossus. Where you, not like where you see a giant. Now, Shadow of the Colossus, That's I a said one story. of, okay? okay. But that was more you platformed him as opposed to fighting And Shadow him. of the Colossus, the boss is the level. Is the level. Yeah. So. But just like the fact that he's there, four people get to try to take him down. Um, the, when we discovered we're fighting him, just shoot the shit out of him, blowing limbs off. Then you discover you can like get eaten by him and go in his gut yeah. and destroy him. We from were within playing, inside. dude, and I'm like, I'm inside, and we're like blowing the shit inside. out. He gets inside. I'm like, I just ran all the way through and got shit back out and after shot across that, the, the stage. In. Ed plays and he's like, Oh my god, you're at the freaking center of his core, shit, well, dude. What does that look like? What's going on <laughs> down can there? I, can I just throw out a question to you guys? Is that do you do you think that this is going to be one of those instances of blowing a load here? You what do you mean? From what I understand and what I'm reading in chat is that people are saying that this boss is actually the smallest boss in the game. That no they shit. get bigger than this and that it's it's the boss battles are what make this title. Now, I know people had issues with Lost Planet 1 controls, the weapons, things like that. And, you know, Lost Planet videos. 1 was like, for eh, Microsoft, for man. me too. But, dude, this game, this boss battle was Fucking awesome, dude. And, and let's say... Getting into the mechs, like, there was this four-person mech that we were in. Oh, that was freaking badass, yeah, dude. and you could not activate it unless there were four people playing with you. There were different mechs all over that you could oh, get yeah, into, it's all little kinds mechs, of single players. and you could jump on the mech, and you could pick up different weapons for your mech, but there was a mech specifically that was a four-person mech, and it was huge, badass, dude. dude. And, like, it's Voltron. Like, fucking somebody's <laughs> driving the mech, somebody's the right arm, somebody's the left arm, somebody's controlling the fucking rockets and the missile. And, the and you could bitch that Lost Planet didn't change its control scheme at all, guys. Still freaking picking up that same energy, that same little shitty short hook, same little weird feel to your Yeah, feet. people are actually commenting that but they the feel like the controls are still that crap. they threw four people to tackle it together is what blows my mind. I am so excited for this game to run through it with three buds. Right. That is what has me. Well, excited, and that's guys. that's you know that's what I think some of these games have to do too, and and it's just exciting to see them do that. I mean, this looks fucking awesome, guys. It I, is and it's, awesome. And the dude. fact that it took us a ton of tries, dude. We had dude. to do it several times. We had to solve we this would, shit. We would have people like that would jump out because what you don't see what happens is you have a shared energy pool as a team. And as you go to these, like, spawn points, you got to activate these spawn right. points, and they right? give you more. And, and they more give you more spawns. energy. And so you have, like, a set battle gauge of energy. And if you get hit, you can use some of that energy to, like, get your health back up. If you die, it costs some of that energy to respawn. So if you're playing with some fucking nub, jackass, some jackass dying. who comes in and keeps dying, you're not going to beat the boss because it's going to use all of your battle energy. And then once it goes to zero, you're fucked. And yeah, you just have to do it over, over again. So it requires you guys to be coordinated and work together and pay attention to like where these spawn points are, if you're activating the spawn points, and if you're out of the way of the monster. Like this monster has several ways that it attacks, it attacks you. you, but you it, like learn his pattern. Yeah, you shit. learn his pattern. Right. But, like, he has this tongue attack. He has a stomp attack. He has an energy attack. The energy attack, you have to jump up in the air when he hits the ground because the energy goes through the ground. And if you're standing on the ground, it's going to hit you, you know? There's all sorts of little neat, interesting things that go to this boss ba battle. And Molly is saying that the, the devs are saying that this boss is tiny. And that is hard for me That's to believe. That's awesome. That's a sweet because thought. Because this thing is awesome, dude. Six legs. You got to take the legs out. You got to take its core out. It's got a spike tail that it swings at you if you're behind it. It's just, it was really, really fun. It was fun. It was fun. And I like that we had to learn it. Wheat. No split screen co op. That sucks. It does suck. You but know what? But honestly, I don't. I, don't I think people that. now. They now, want people play four player now, online. Now hold on. Do we know that for sure? Because I read that the guy was trying to make it happen. He's like, it's so I hard to process two things. 
Yeah, but they, we're trying to make dude, it happen. They've still got a long way so this game comes EG out. EG Playboy, I'm sorry you didn't enjoy the the demo as much as we did. He played did. with shitty players. He must have played with shitty players, but Force and I had a blast playing this together. And no, the mechs aren't. It's actually, some of the mechs, you there guys, are a ton of different mechs. This weekend, yeah, let's play. We'll, play. we'll, we'll, play. we'll try it. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm so down. So do we want to try? We got like five minutes. We want to get a caller in? We Say what's up to someone. We could try to get one caller. I, I in. just feel bad that you All like right. offer it. We I never. Know, you always offer it. We never have. Time. I know, and we are going. You know, we literally have like five minutes left. So maybe as sort of a promise for next week, um, that we will have some open phones. Cause, yeah, oh promise wait. that for him next week. Yeah, promise that. Maybe <laughs> promise that next <laughs> week. <laughs> open phones. Next phone, week, open, right the whole hey, show is open I'm, phones. Next I'm week. I'm all for maybe doing a little bit of packs reporting, whatever games we want to do. Just kind of saying fuck news of the week next week and just doing open phones. Like I'm totally you mean cool. The with week that. after that. What's that? You're not going to be here next week. The week after. Yes. 